Steve, I I'm here. <laughs> you are here. There, there we go. Okay. I am here. Um, are you here, Ryan? <laughs> you are. Also I am here. by no small feet. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, no, you do not have small feet. I happen to know that. That's that <laughs> that is true. <laughs> um, hey, welcome. Glad everyone is uh, jumping on right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hop on our... so far. Fifteen. Okay, it's gonna jump up soon. I don't see names though, so people aren't saying hi yet. Hello. There we go. All right, Dennis Acosta is watching. What up, Dennis? Hey, yeah. let us know uh, in the comments if you are here uh, with us. Oh, we got J -J -J Gina and the Jets is here with us. Gina. All right. Gina is always tuning in. Love it. Henry um, Veras so, is here. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Henry my gosh. Is, Henry's a great preacher. I heard him on Sunday. I watched his sermon. Did you really? Yeah. So cool. Oh, very cool. Zach hey, is guys. here with us. Stephen Hicks is here. We Teresa is here. Teresa Camarillo. Teresa Camarillo. <laughs> or for you outside of California, Camarillo. Or if you're in Amarillo, Texas, Camarillo. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they Keith thought Moss it was is here. Texas. That's true. Hey, um, while you all are joining, please take a John moment and Serville share this video. Mr. Lee Rademacher, Michael Spies is here all, all the right. way from the Outback. Detroit Coming in the in house, Kingdom. From Good Morning. See, Michael Spies is in the future. All right. Yeah, he's in the future. He's tomorrow. I hope tomorrow is a wonderful day. Is it, Michael? Let us know, Michael. Because you're our the spy. Scoop. Yeah. Hey, nice. <laughs> um. Eric Gagme is here. Oh, no, no. Look what, look what, look what, uh, look what Teresa said. Hold on. Well, I'm really doing inventory. Don't, <laughs> don't tell my boss I'm here. Okay. Oh, um, man. Right. Well, everybody, take a moment and share this is, video because you know how it works here at Inside Axel. You may win something. It's the most wonderful time And also, of the if year. you are enjoying this inventory. video feed or... If you hate this video feed, yes. but you've enjoyed either it in the way. past, either way, if you've enjoyed it in the past, uh, hit that or, like button. Let us know you're here. Hit that heart hate button. It. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, Terry. Hey, check this out. Weather report: snowy northern Michigan hmm. checking in five inches expected tonight. Terry. Hey. <laughs> well, that. Steve, um, yeah. our feet looks a little different today. We it got is a little different. bit of and why a is that? Oh my gosh! To borrow your catchphrase, so oh my gosh! Exciting, so exciting. Because we are going to be going live with an amazing guest, a comedian, ventriloquist, business and strat ops um, specialty personnel, all wrapped into one. Mr. Yeah. Al Gettler will be joining us live now. Um, Skippy Specter, if you're here, you always ask me right before it plays, <laughs> "Will it be live?" And the answer is it will be. So tonight here's what will I want. be live. That's that's right. So here's that's what right. I want everyone to do. Um, in about 30 minutes or so, we'll be bringing on Al, and we are going to be picking his brain all things business related. You know, small business um, tips We're be pick, and picking his brain or peaking his brain. Uh, we will be peaked by what we pick <laughs> out of his brain. <laughs> I'm really um, trying my and, best to keep this. I'm doing a camera <laughs> thing here. <laughs> no, it's really important. It's super important. Oh, and... sorry, Steve. You you prefer you prefer it like this. Thanks. No, there that's you okay. go. no, that's fine. I don't mind. See, this is Steve. I just don't. <laughs> no, this is Steve getting a taste hey. of his own medicine. Hey, Ryan. How are you? He um, always makes it. He always wants it like this. But you know what, friends? No, 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 no. Or you know what? What? Let's just give the people what they want. <laughs> Just Tonight's different because people. we are literally going to be live instead of pre-recorded with Al Gettler, our business expert for this evening. And he's also in showbiz. Uh, it's going to be super right. cool because your questions, uh, I've got several of them, at least 20 here. And also oh, uh, you in, can ask fact, live Steve, questions. Can, yep. can yeah, yep. I was going to say, can people put questions yes. in the comment or can they just ask live when we bring Al on? Uh, or we would entirely we ignore you because them. I won't be monitoring them. You will. You well, because normally you'd say ignore people unless they have a <laughs> unless they have a credit card. <laughs> and I always say what? I always say I don't even say that word. I don't even know what a credit card is. Always first. 
Dude. Oh yeah, you're a. I forgot you're a Bitcoin. Guy. Oh, okay. Margaret. Oh, this Davis just in here. from Jeremy Wheat. Dinky Bear? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, uh, I don't know, brother. See, Bernard Sims hey. is here as well. This is great. Steve, how about we, this? How about if how about if we a hit ton if we had a hundred friends? If huh? we had a hundred people watching tonight. Yeah. Oh. Will you oh. will you make a dinky bear? Or is that if I get a hundred people would I, well I want a dinky bear myself. I would like to have a dinky bear. I just don't know. We only have um four more to make. And does a binky dinky bear fit into well, that not a, category? Not a binky bear. That's maybe a, maybe this is why you've been bear. dragging your feet. You thought it was a binky bear. It's a dinky bear. Does that ah, change anything for you? Back to you, Steve. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for mouthwatch 2020. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I'm sharing this to uh, Axel Entertainers right oh now. Oh my gosh, Randy Gentry is here. What? Thank you for sharing it, Ryan, because if you didn't, no one else would here in the house. Uh, Bernard <laughs> Sims is here. Uh, Ken Dumb wanted to publicly thank Steve for helping a young female vent meet a hero of hers last year. Oh, absolutely. Very cool. And that hey, hero, real quick. Of course, was Ken Dumb. I'm just um, Jeremy Wheat. So what's what's funny, Jeremy, is hmm. I am actually still at the studio, but I'm downstairs. Oh. Um, we are streaming a little bit differently today, so we have a couple different systems running. We're we're trying something out. So anything I can do to get you closer to the Prius, to the Green Barn, you totally missed that. They caught it, but you missed it. What did I miss? And you're supposed to be the producer. What did I miss? I said mouthwatch 2020. I, I gave you a fake laugh. Yeah, but it's 2021. Oh, we don't have a Whoa. we don't have copyright. We don't have copyright for 2021. We have to keep a 2020. Or Facebook shuts is? us down. Yeah. All right. Oh, Haven't I got you? it. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Um, okay. Quick question before we get in, we got some insider content to share. We have a performer spotlight. Um, hold on, oh, yeah. people can't understand me small like this. There we go. We have a performer spotlight <laughs> hey, from Whoa. Megan Casey. Rocky Mountain Puppets is going to be with us. Then we're going to have Steve. Remind me who our special guest is again. Oh, our special guest is Al Gettler. He is a business marketing expert, consultant, guru. Some would say a wonderkind. Al would say that. <laughs> <laughs> and Al's mother would say that as well. There we go. Uh, but we will be um, picking his brain on some incredible, because he's also a ventriloquist. He's in our field. He's That's an right. entertainer, does some magic, does some ventriloquism, and is a business expert and interviews everybody that comes out with a business book in the last two years. It's just been amazing. He's had incredible serious. guests on like three yeah. times a week. He's got someone killer. Mm -hmm. Even today, I was on with him watching uh, him interview a Disney um uh, creative executive and listening to the amazing advice that he had for us as creatives. Okay. And now I am a friend of that guy. So of Al's very cool. Well, I've been a friend of Al's for probably 20, like 40 years, years, right? You guys have, you guys have a lot of history, which is pretty cool. Since 84, when I first went to the ventriloquist convention, Al was there. Well, as yep. someone who was born in 84, he and who is now Jeff 36, Dunham were running around in their diapers while I was giving them bottles. That is odd. Come here, little boys. Come here. Have a bottle. Go sit down um, and be quiet. Well, Steven, in a second, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to play some content from uh, the insiders. Chuck but... Lyons is here. He's kind of annoyed because Al Gettler has never interviewed him. That's what I'm seeing. Excuse me, that's what I'm seeing. So I don't know. I interrupted you. I shouldn't have, but uh, Al said he oh. and Dunham are back in diapers. I love it. <laughs> um, okay, so everyone, yeah, take a moment to um, share yeah. this video if you haven't yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna play let me get a couple of videos loaded up because All we right. got some cool content Let's this week. Let's do it. Um, it's cool, it's cool. We got some cool content uh, to share. But first, before we get to that content, A, because I need to pull it up, 
and B, because I want to get. If you can't find it, we might crash if you do. Um, no, because we, yeah. Uh, let's see. No. I think this is it. I wanted no. to get a bead because, Steve, you have a new mobile device. Mm. I, have I have a new, a new mobile, mobile device, device, and you have a new mobile device. This is the Samsung Note 20 Ultra 5G. And, and this is the, the iPhone Pro Max 12, kind of the Apple version, whatever. No debate, and really. Droid wins every time. Except when you log into Facebook or need to access feeds <laughs> or not be delayed or not show, have so latency. I'm gonna let, hold your camera up here. Let me show my camera. This is All Look right. at these three lenses in my cam. And look at oh, this. The you, don't way have, that they, you don't have triple sensors? They, Interesting. Notice how they offset it. They offset his because they couldn't go vertical. They're, they didn't have enough bandwidth to go vertical with the... Nah. Apple just chose to put him in a grouping like that so it's less of a square. Mm. I'm a mm. rectangle. Sorry, not that, a square. That was Versus a actually more of a square. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it's nice. cool to see that you're a, you're a, a teenager with your uh, poppet on the back. Hey, is it better for making TikTok videos? <laughs> it just is... It, I like it because I... You know, my, my old phone, I dropped, even one time I was yeah. playing in the band, went to the restroom, dropped it actually into the toilet. Um, you were so. probably trying to find better reception because it's a droid. Nope. Right? I just ah, was simply looking. I was texting while going to the bathroom. Dropped it right in. Oh, <laughs> uh, but hey, let us let us know right now. I'm always curious. What are you using? Are you a so Samsung droid user? Now. Ooh, Randy said his mom has a pop socket. So you and Randy's mom could hold pop your phones socket. together. Pop socket. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. The main question I want to ask Al, yeah, I know Al, he's a business Al. expert. I want to know whatever, if he whatever. uses Apple or Droid. No, you and can, whatever he Al? uses, whatever he uses, I'm switching to. <laughs> Oh my either gosh. I either we trade phones or we keep what we well, have. He's probably a sellout. Yeah, he totally is. He's a sellout. Yes. A green apple. That means he's got a custom Steve Jobs original. <laughs> oh man! All right, all right. Well, I think we should probably check in with the insiders this Let's week. Let's check it out. I'm um, excited to see this. You'll have to talk your way through it. I've got. Uh, I've got some names here. All right. If yeah. they come out in the same order, that would be wonderful. Well, what's interesting is it logged me out of all your accounts, so I have to remember oh, okay. which one it was. I can show them. <laughs> uh, I think I got it. I, I think I got it. I, we, just, we just have several different YouTube accounts. So all right. um, there we go. There we go. Okay. Yep, we do. But okay. All right. All right. Um, Hey, and if everyone's wondering why things looked a little bit different mm -hmm. today, it's because yeah, we're going to be going. We are going to be going live with Al Gettler. So, um, what are we using tonight, Ryan? So we're using Streamyard, and yep. we've seen guys like Al and um, Cax and a lot of other people um, use rock the Streamyard. Rock the Streamyard, and Streamyard has a sweet spot when it comes to live interviews. Yep. And wow. we do a lot of stuff that's non-live interview, so we use some other stuff. And it makes it a little clunky for the live interview side. So we thought, hey, let's just dive in deep. Let's make Steve small. And we are. <laughs> and let's, Jeremy Wheat is an and let's just <laughs> and let's just <laughs> let's try. Let's make Steve new. small. <laughs> That's new. That's new. Hey, oh, why man. don't you interview Al? That would be great. All right. Uh, we'd get too many likes. In <laughs> We'd probably it's crash. Too many we'd shares. Crash we'd break the, the internet. <laughs> Zuckerberg would be going. What the yeah. heck is going on? No, come on, come on, Steve. You're you're the rock star when it comes to that. Okay, I got some stuff for the insiders. Let me share my screen here. I'm going to pull up. Um, I'm going to pull up a little video montage of some of the insiders that we have here. Cool. And oh, Steve, do you want to kind of let's see? I let mean, oh uh, yes. This is Wolfie in in Germany. Uh, this is. Um, hey, let me restart it. Let me restart it real quick. Okay. Okay. I'll go. I'll go back for you. Um, Are you able to pause? Or... Yeah. All right. All right. So this is Wolfie in Germany, and he took his alligator to the dentist. This is uh, Ben Lafotte. There we go. With his orangutan, 
and he's, he's got, got a several, couple photos several he's pictures saying. here he's got five yeah <laughs> look at all of these these are great in belgium ben lafat benjamin lafat Oh, these are so cool. And look at just how the way, I mean, this is a cheeky orang. I love the cheeky monkey. Yeah. It's or cheeky monkey, but it's a red one. It's a cheeky okay. orang, right? Okay. <laughs> explain. <laughs> now, Steve, all, explain. We've all seen the memes uh, coming out with Bernie Sanders. And so this one, he's holding his winter mittens up during the inauguration. And, of course, we had to. <laughs> we had to put uh, a dinky on Bernie Sanders' gloves. Do you see another right. one there, Ryan? Uh, yeah, let me let me uh, un- uh, let's pause it. Let's see what we oh, got look here. This. Look at this. This is so fun. No, I think this is just how Bernie was. <laughs> Social so this distancing is the classic with his picture friends. of Bernie with his two mittens. All right, this is Gina. Look at Gina. She's got her dinky monster. And oh no 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 this is uh I'm sorry this is Dennis Murphy in Australia. Yep. Dennis Murphy has his look at how he created this bed behind the uh, monster. Oh that's super cool. Oh hey we got Notice a good so we, so you don't see his hand coming into the back. I like it. Hey yep. what do you think of Randy saying we need a dinky Bernie? <laughs> I agree. Dinky Bernie would be incredible. So I, I got to say, I was watching, you know, Curb Your Enthusiasm, and oh, I, yeah. I cannot yeah. help but picture Larry David whenever I see well, Bernie did Sanders. did such a great Bernie on SNL. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh, he was great. Oh, I know. All right, let me let me see what else we got here, Steve. I've been thinking about doing photos. people dinkies. What do you guys think about that? Put it in the comments. It's a little hard to feel. Oh, there's Dennis Murphy again. There, there he is. is. There he is in Australia. And uh, go back just for a sec, right? Sure thing, yeah. If you can, there's Kevin. Yep. All right. So look at how he's got this uh, little bed built up against the uh, – so he's holding it like a baby, and his hand goes, of course, in the back of the head through a hole in the blanket. Isn't that cool? Good idea. It, yeah. yeah. All right. Let me uh, – see what else we got here. Kevin well, Johnson. Well, talk about this for a second. Oh, my gosh. Kevin Johnson is so incredible. And look at this. Uh, he's got our uh, – cockatoo with extremely um embellished feathers on the top yeah of he head. has he has custom hair on his and yeah. he was hosting a virtual dinner yeah for uh the magic, magic castle. castle magic castle so yeah. he is the host of the magic castle for this evening and there is the uh i think the dates are on that are they ryan or do you see that let me see i think i covered up a skippy specter so skippy S- i want you to Skippy's know right now something. Yep, yep. That we are going to be live without Gettler. And so I oh, want you to ask whoa. a question because you always like to be live. And I would love it. <laughs> if you oh, ask. come on, Ryan. The audio is staticky, according oh, to Jeremy gosh. Beat. Jeremy, we owe you a 5G tower right by your house. Jeremy. Steve. Uh, it's, uh, oh, it's Steve to, will I, deliver oh, that. Oh, 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 um, anyways. Um, that's okay with you. I'll take care of that. January 23rd, Steve. 7 January twenty third, this this Saturday, this Saturday on MagicCastle.com. Check it out. Kevin Johnson is going to be the MC, and we have look at that. Martin Lewis. Martin Lewis. Martin was the inspiration for my special effects drawing board. Amazing, oh, amazing very cool. guy with his cardiographic. Um, so yeah. Me. All right. Let me let me keep this going, Steve. Yep. Yep. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Mm. Ooh, okay, so this is Sharon. This is Sharon. So Jordan. Sharon has a business called blinginme.com. We'll show Look her website at this in just a second. Look at this And she diva. sells uh, lead-free jewelry, and she ordered two custom divas. So if I have... wanted some lead jewelry for my wife, I wouldn't be able to get it from bling? Sorry, Steve. <laughs> You'd have to you'd have to go back to the seventies and go to a pawn shop. <laughs> so, okay, okay. So lead free <laughs> jewelry. Look at that diva. She is. She's beautiful. got. I got Sharon, a couple photos from her. Sharon Jordan. There's several photos. These are gorgeous. Look at that. So they Isn't have glitter eyelids, beautiful. glitter beautiful. fingernails, yep. glitter yes. um, shoes. So she and does I birthday parties those. as well. Mm-hmm. Glitter, glitter. Another one. And I'll pause on her. Look uh, at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so there's this her, is her business. There's her business. Bling. 
bling and me at you at yahoo.com 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 um, that's her email address yeah you can find out more and it's bling in me i n m e dot com if you want to check out some of uh what she's got going on we love you sharon and check uh, this out look at this salim we got the uh this is salim this is mark and berryman right here let me yeah right this yeah, is mark berryman mark berryman yep yeah absolutely and All this right. is his vulture and bird arm illusion. The, if you notice that it, it was the leatherette. the leatherette style. This is a, a obviously a Willie the Kid, and this is, boom boom boom. Oh my goodness, I don't have the name for this one. I'm sorry. Who is this? Oh my goodness sakes! I feel so bad about that. Teresa said it's beautiful. Maybe that's who it is. Beautiful. It is. Ah. All right. Tell us about this okay. guy, Steve. This is a wolf. And this is the wolf now, that hold came on. in. Yeah. Hold on. Is this a, a wolf? wolf? This Be is honest. A wolf. Be honest. This is a wolf. Yeah. It's a wolf uh, for you. It is. Not a wolf. wolf. And I okay. believe this is the same person that sent the willy. And I didn't <laughs> rename the files. I feel so bad. I'd have to go back to my emails. I'm sorry, folks. If you know who this is. No worries, is, man. Ah, no worries. No, it's Different incredible. format. Oh, this is, I believe this is also, um, no, this is also uh, from Australia. Yep. This is Dennis Murphy's uh, wolf from Australia. Okay. Wolf, Dennis Murphy. And this, again, is Wolfie. Back to, He's yep. got his alligator at the dentist. Classic. Laid out. Yep. I love it. Love it. So cool. I got a few more to show you. Mm-hmm. Ah, of course, Gina. Let it play. Let it play. Ah, Gina is asking the monster if there are too many dinkies or if they need more dinkies. And, of course, the monster said, we need more dinkies. And uh, she has actually already ordered the next dinky. <laughs> <laughs> which is the uh, frog. And Gina asked for the orange-haired frog, and that's already on the way to her. Gina, thank you so much. Yeah, Teresa loves seeing these. I know. It's so cool. Teresa's there all day long, 24-7, handling our customer service and doing such an incredible job. Thank you, Teresa, for all your great service and for being able to be there to handle hey, hit, the shipping questions hit that like button love. oh love let's go let's go to the hearts boom 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 i just put up three come on folks oh there's some likes loves okay boom 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 what is that theme song well um, that is Wild Wild West with James yeah. Conrad. Yeah. Um, hey, Steve, if your mic is still uh, popping a bit, I can come up and uh, swap you. My mic you. is not popping. My mic's well, not popping. Who's saying that? Let me double check something. Let me double check a setting. It shouldn't. No, don't do the thing where you don't talk. <laughs> and it's uh, Skippy. If you were wondering why we're in different rooms, it's because I'm downstairs. What do you think of that? Steve's upstairs. What do you think of that? And we're just rolling a little different tonight because we got Al Gettler live in just me? a bit. Um, I'm going to check a setting real quick. It shouldn't hey, matter because you're on a dynamic mic. You don't need you plus 48 me? volts. But I'm going to check. Hey, Ryan. Just in case. Can you hear me? All right. Mm-hmm. Hands across the water. He's downstairs, Skip, Henry says. Yep. Uh, no, we're not together tonight. Now, he is now. He just walked into the room, so it's kind of weird. Kind of weird seeing Ryan here. Excuse me? What are you doing? Hey, guys. Go watch the hogs. Hey, put a mask on if you're going to stand that close to me. Please, we have a new president. All right. The rules have changed. Okay. 
All right, Steve. <laughs> Speaking of a new president, uh, we will be revealing our Biden puppet mm-hmm. completely, completely painted and in his suit and uh, all of his glory. Uh, the Joe Biden puppet will be revealed on the CAX episode, which is coming up when, Ryan? February 3rd to the 6th, two weeks yep. from now. So February 4th. Yep, we'll be that live. Is the night. We will be there on February 4th. And so you guys want to join up with CAX, go to cadabra.org. February 3rd to the 6th. Sign up. Uh, for oh, Cadabra. no, Michael Spies. Don't worry. We are not done Several yet. of you have... <laughs> Several of you have already signed Not up. Not yet. Mario is there. Mario. A Mario. Yep. Um, several others. If you've already signed up for CAX, the conference coming up February 3rd through 6th, please say so here tonight so we can see. You guys need to have um, registration for that. It's so incredible to be able to be part of this because it's going to be... Can I say amazing? You're going to get a discount for Axtel products as well if you sign up for CAX. That is true. Hey, Steve, Jeremy Jeremy Weed is asking, is Harris next? You've done Biden. (laughs) Is Harris next? I wouldn't imagine that it would be too long before I'm sculpting Harris. That's my guess. I don't know. I have no idea. We'll see. Very cool. Um, when she is president, we will sculpt her, if that's the case. All right. Michael Spies is excited for Cax. Yeah, Super spicy cool. Spicy baby. Uh, Steve, what's what's next on the paper you have up there? It says, uh, Ryan says, spicy baby. <laughs> Check. Yeah. Oh, next. Oh, after that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, you don't have your paper because it's in here. It's right over there. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> this is the performer spotlight with Megan Casey. Oh my gosh, mm-hmm. let me tell you about Megan Casey. Mm-hmm. Hold on, Steve. Make- let me make you. Let me fit per your ego. Let me make Would you, you please large. Please make me large and you small. Oh, whoops. Sorry, man. When I was uh, going to Ben Haven, um, back in the day, like in the early '90s, I had my daughter Melody with me. Melody Axtell and Megan are the same age, and they uh, they hit it off so well. They were best friends, BFFs at Van Haven. You know, Van Haven BFFs. You know how far that goes, Ryan. It's forever. It's BF F. That's the F for forever. I'm familiar um, with the term. Back to you, Steve. <laughs> so. Um, Anyway, Megan has grown up in uh, ventriloquism under her father's um, legacy. Tutelage, Ed, you could say. I um, wouldn't say that, but you did. <laughs> but you so could. I don't have you to. Could. You could say it. <laughs> Ed Casey is a ventriloquist, and he is quite the punster, that guy. He's quite the punster. Um, we are now going to be playing a uh, performer spotlight that Megan Casey has nailed for us just last night. Uh, for- and she is, I got to tell you about her in a second after this is played, because Ryan's going to play it right now. Go for it. Performer Spotlight. Hello, everyone. My name is Megan Casey. I live in Westminster, Colorado, and I'm a paraeducator at a school over in Boulder, Colorado. I started working at this elementary school in October of 2020 during this whole pandemic. Uh, Due to this pandemic, I had a lot of programs canceled, as I'm sure a lot of you did. And it's been a really rewarding feeling being able to work with these kids one-on-one again, whether it's in person, um, remotely, uh, it's been so much fun. And I've been able to use my puppets too. The teachers get a kick out of it. So it's been really nice being able to bring my puppets into the school sometimes. I've done announcements and stuff with them. The kids love it and they want to see more of it. So it's a great feeling being able to hear people laugh in person again, something I missed a lot. Uh, I'm also a babysitter occasionally during the week. And I have my own business, Rocky Mountain Puppets. Uh, For that, I do video uh, creating stuff. So I actually make videos quite a bit for TikTok. Over quarantine, I 
k even downloaded tiktok actually and now i have 1.5 million followers on the app so that's pretty cool and then youtube i'm starting to make more videos for that as well so i guess video content is another thing that goes along with that job uh, my family is super supportive of everything they do my dad is the one who actually got me into ventriloquism when i was five i saw his lips move and i was like you're making the puppets talk he's like no i'm not I'm like yeah you are and uh, he told me that in order to go to the Vent Haven Ventriloquist Convention with him, I had to learn how to be a ventriloquist. So I read all of these books when I was five and I finished it, I think in like a month and a half. And then I practiced and I went to my first convention when I was six years old. So yeah, and then I have my mom, Michelle, and my little brother, Michael. He's going down to school at University of Texas at Austin. He does some, some ventriloquism, but not as much. He's um, going to school for video, um, like broadcasting and stuff like that. So maybe see him on the news one day. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit about me and some activities I like to do. I love hiking. I'm a pretty active person and I really like weightlifting. So yeah, that's some stuff I like to do. What Axtell products do I have in my show? I have a lot. I have a different show every single year. Um, I have almost... I want to say 30 Axtell puppets. There's, I wish it was organized so I could show you, but I like 30 Axtell characters. That ain't her favorite. Yeah, this is Aiden. Hi guys. I got Aiden when I was 16 years old. Yeah, and I, I'm the favorite on TikTok. No, I am. That was Crush. You don't even know anything. Yes, I do. At least just chilling on the bed. I'll get Crush really quick too. Yeah, I'm their other favorite. Can't you tell them they paint job and see if they're used? Okay, yes, I do need to send you in to get a paint job. Yeah, why don't you? Okay, we'll do it soon then. But yeah, I'm her other favorite. I also have a kangaroo. Her name's Cassie. Schuster, he's a dog puppet. They all have different voices. Um, but those are the four that I think I use the most. Yeah, but I'm the best. <laughs> Show you later. So something that's positive is there's this little boy, whenever I'm performing in the Denver Public Library system, he follows me around and he'll come to every single one of my shows over the summer. And uh, I think it was four years ago, um, I recently tore my ACL and I just had surgery and I, I just re it actually, so I have to have surgery here again soon. But anyways, um, this little boy, he came to my show and I was like three days post-op having surgery and I had to do a show down in Englewood, Colorado. He came with a little bag of marshmallows for Aiden and he was wearing a shirt that said, I heart and I had a picture of Aiden and I in the lower part of the uh, shirt. It melted my heart and it was the cutest thing that has ever happened. And I think that's the most positive thing that has ever happened is I've made such an impact on this little boy's life that he wants to go to every show. And I love his, his, his mom brings him all the time, but I love his parents for supporting the fact that he wants to come uh, to every single one of my shows. And it's always very nice seeing him. We've had a few of those. There's been a few. Share the one, and they've all happened with Aiden too. Oh, so that's why you brought me on here. Answer it. Uh, I think my uh, worst nightmare was when this little kid could not stop pulling on my tail. They walked past Negan's barrier. Hmm, hold up. So the barrier is my little light rope that I have for my show. It's just where my perform performing area is, and I do not want anyone walking past it for their safety and for my safety. Yep. And this little kid kept pulling on my tail, and I was like, yo, dude! How do you feel if I would pull on your tail? They don't have a tail. So what? How, how would they feel if I pull on their hair? Same difference. Okay, I guess you're right. Then they continued to pull on my foot, and they kept pulling so hard, uh, it just hurt. And then they pulled on my arm. Yeah, that's where I ended badly. They ripped my arm off. Yes, I am not the first Aiden. Yeah, I have four Aidens. Um, this character is used quite a bit. Uh-huh. Well, I'm Aiden the fourth, I guess you could say. Some goals I'm working on as a performer. I would really like to get better at accents because I really think it would help with voice contrast between the character and myself. I'm not very good at doing accents. I did a British accent one time for my friend who is British. 
and they told me to never do it again because of how bad it was. So I really need to work on my accents if I'm going to be using them on characters. Uh, another goal of mine that I'm working on, as, working on as a performer is to one day have my own TV show that teaches the world about health, safety, fitness, and nutrition using puppets. So I'm hoping that where I'm making videos on YouTube and even TikTok will hopefully get me there someday. So thank you for joining us for another edition of Performer Spotlight. Yeah. Um, so I need you to shuck the snakes and fact. Um, dude, come on. Henry it's a said, different format. No, Henry I don't said have that to you need, do two snakes. Henry said you need to shuck double snakes. That's not what the HR manual says. You have never read the manual. That's the problem. The green barn. There's a okay, podium. Okay, can you just put it? Could you just put it in Dropbox or something? I mean, why okay. does it have to be like a pamphlet that's printed out and hidden in a barn somewhere? Clearly, Zach live knows in Southern what's California. going on. He says it's With your greater LA area. That was echoing. So don't say, "What chores do I do? What chores do I do? What chores do I do?" That's echoing. Just like, okay, Dad. That would be a good reply to, I need you to go do your chores in the green barn. Look in the manual. Shuck two snakes, according to Henry. All I'm saying is if I could afford AirPod Pros, we wouldn't have Bloat this problem. the bowls. We don't need that's anything. Not, that's not even a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. Hey, the horses. Cheese Adam the goats. Shields, hold on, hold on. Since when Cheese can people just goats. recommend chores? Totally they can. This isn't... Just, in other words, just leave for a while. Milk the mouse? Yes. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> the mouse this needs is... milking. This is ridiculous, Ryan, that you wouldn't be doing all these chores. Come on. Tickle the turtles. Okay. Come on. <laughs> we, we, we absolutely okay. must tickle the turtles. Thank you, Don Donald. Okay. Yeah, Lee Rattermaker raises a great point. Send the hmm. insiders a copy of the manual. Okay. Okay, can uh, you just do that? Absolutely. Um, I'm oh, sure interesting. By next you don't week, have the manual. Hmm. Next week. It's not in PDF. It's not digital. It's handwritten by our great-great-great-grandfather who put it on the parchment that's in there on the podium, Ryan, in the green barn. If you want to digitize it, oh, type now it up. Chris Moore jumping in from Pennsylvania. <laughs> Shear the, Shear the sheep. I uh, love it. Okay, real quick, Steve. Yeah. Break it down for me. Minimum. Yeah. Um, Absolute minimum. Give, give me the, give me the MCQ minimum chore quotient. Well, it's grown. It's not the same. I'm as not going to gonna lick the lizards, Chris. That. <laughs> Is not on the Are list. You ready? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Pay the horses, milk the cows, shuck the snakes, cheese the goats, bloat the bulls, oink the pigs, lick the Hold lizards. On. There's too many people ch chiming. No, in. wax the turtles, tickle the turtles. You got to wax them and turkle them. Tickle them. Sherry, come on. Clean the rabbit ears. Joe Bilbo, chuck the chickens. You got to ring the rabbits, chuck the chickens. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff to do, man. We need How you long to go do take I have? care of it. Like eight to ten minutes. So, I'm going to give okay. you a count of three. You need to be out of here. Okay. One. All right. Two. I want to hear a successful trip when you get back. Three. Okay. And now it's time to. Ask the Tiki. <laughs> okay, this is a little different tonight. There we go. I don't know if he's awake. Are you there? Are you there, oh great Tiki? Are you there, oh great Tiki? I guess he's not. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ask him a question, and he will try to answer it in his sleep which is amazing <laughs> okay all right here we go give me a few uh, give me a few oh, tiki me not what i desire <laughs> 
What took you so long to wake me from my I'm slumber? <laughs> I have some questions here for you, oh great Tiki. Are you ready? Ah, uh, yes. All right. Uh, Lee Rademacher said, oh great Tiki, the Ventura police, um, that's pretty local, have been getting reports about the wild parties being thrown after Steve Ryan and the rest of the crew go home <laughs> for the evening. <laughs> Uh, case in point, loud karaoke coming from the chicken coop, barrels of beer, stacks of pizza being delivered, and high-stakes poker games being run in Cider's studio. Well, uh, that's sounds shed about some right. Light on, on this. Do the puppets come alive after we leave? I mean, let's be honest. Everyone's familiar with Toy Story. But what about the movie Small Soldiers, where toys also came alive? Now, let's just remember that I submitted a script to Warner Brothers for that movie based on my <laughs> real-life experience of things coming to life. You did? Now, I had a ghostwriter who had arms, obviously. But anyways, yes, stuff comes to life. I don't get paid for it. Back to you, Steve. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry that you don't get paid for what you write. That is not right. Uh, Michael Spies says, uh, Oh, wise and wonderful wooden idol. There it is. My son thinks I should sing solo. Solo that no one can hear me. <laughs> what song should I sing loudly when picking him up from school next week? That's a good one. Oh, you know, that song all the kids love. Strangers in the night. <laughs> Talking about those strangers in the night. If you like Aaron Neville's version. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's one from Mark Berryman. Okay. Oh, great Tiki. Tell me, should I make the move? Hmm. I have to believe he means the move from Android to iPhone. <laughs> so, yes, make the move, buddy. Yeah. We that welcome is, you with open 5G uh, arms and limited reach. Sure, I'm not sure that's what he meant. Probably. Michael Berryman, sorry about that. I know he totally walked all over your premise there. No, I nailed it. Uh, here's another one. Oh, great and wise. No, oh, wise and greater than the ordinary tiki. Why, thank you. Do you have a way of breathing while swimming underwater? That would be a question for an amphibian. <laughs> Do you swim underwater? I don't have arms. Need I remind <laughs> you, would you think I have flippers? <laughs> I wasn't sure. Uh, the question was about you swimming underwater, so okay. Here's another one. Oh, okay. great dude from Tahiti. Yes. How many whales are in the ocean? Well, depends on how you quantify them. What's the tonnage spelled with an E? I'm going to have to deflect to my aquatics expert, Joe Bilbo, in the comments. <laughs> Joe, let us know. How Joe many Bilbo would is here you say are in from the, ocean? the UK. He is super scuba diver, Joe. Um. How many whales are in the ocean, Joe? He said, Bilbo? ooh, a question for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're waiting for his answer. Uh, while he's answering, let me ask you uh, the last question that we have here. The tiki sounds fine, like he has a cold. Adam. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. have taste or smell, there is, but I'm fine. There is a different, uh, this is StreamYard, so we have a different uh, tiki has a cold during StreamYard, I guess is what's going on. Oh, wonderful face, dude. Oh, wooden face, dude. That's it. Sorry. Are you able to tell me the exact time in Tahiti right now? Why, yes. It's Ugulaka clock. <laughs> Ugulaka clock. <laughs> you Thank Siri you. Or OK Google for a translation. Thank you, Tiki. Good night. And now it's time to ask the Tiki. <laughs> oh, 
All right, man. So progress yeah. report. All um, right. How'd it go, Ryan? Remind me of the color of the barn. Green. Same color as it's always been. Okay. Yep. So you will be disappointed. Why? I went to a pink barn. Stop it. That's and, the neighbor. Not the uh, barn I told you about. Well, it, you'll be happy to know. Yep. I plucked two snakes. Plucked? You are no, welcome. Shuck. Shuck. No, you don't pluck them. Ryan. It's two letters away. There's no man. What happened when it's you plucked so them? so close. Tell me what happened when you plucked them. Well, it was easy because they don't have feathers, so I didn't really have to do much. So I went ahead and charged you full hours. There weren't any feathers, so you didn't actually pluck them. But let's be honest, man. Most scientists agree that reptiles and dinosaurs were probably closer to birds than what we think dinosaurs were. So uh, feathers dinosaurs. could have been there. Yeah, but Steve, when I say shuck the snakes, it does not mean pluck the snakes. Steve? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, I did um I did water the cows. No. Nope. And did by you that milk I, mean I I bought water from the convenience store near the barn that had cows. Um okay, Avion, well, at least they got know. something to drink. They haven't well, had anything to drink it. for I like was, ten I was ten weeks. Parched. Seriously? Um, did you give it yeah. to them at all? Now, I do have a new 5G hotspot, so I went ahead and caught up on uh, the latest season of Ted Lasso, season one on Apple TV. Um, it's a great drama. You know, you got this football coach coaching soccer in England. And anyways, you'll have to catch up. Um, I'll, I'll fill you in the next time I watch it when I'm doing chores. But it was great. Did you milk the mouse is the question. Um, Did does you? A rat, does a rat count? Adam Shields, does a rat count? Because I saw a rat. It's not not what I told you to do. Steve, I was too excited for Al Gettler because we're about Steve? to bring him on. You said Steve? S Steve. Steve? Yeah. When I give you chores to do, what's my name? <laughs> Father. <laughs> but to be fair, I didn't do any of the chores, so I don't really have the right to be your son. All right, you're back. You're back. No, you you always have my right to be my son. All right. No matter what um, you hey, do, it doesn't matter. Michael Spy says, Mil <laughs> milking the rat is like milking the bull. Either way, it doesn't get done. <laughs> That's okay. true. Oh, well, I'm just glad you're back, Ryan. It's nice to have you at the helm. Okay, again. hold on. Hold on a second. Lee Rademacher said Ryan doesn't get his allowance this week. When do I get an allowance? Period. <laughs> All right. Lee. That was back All when right. we were 12, 13, and 14. All right. Well, Steve, uh -huh. sorry I uh, failed on the turtle tickling. Rap with the rat. Thank you, Tim. Mm -hmm. uh, that turtle hey, needed bringing... tickling. There was a lot of stuff. A lot of people are chiming in about the chores. Yeah. Now, we have a special this... guest with us tonight, and we are going That's to be right. dealing with the very serious aspect of performers in the middle of a pandemic and preparing for your show coming up. This is a very exciting, actually very exciting interview with our good friend, Al Gettler. Um, right. We're going to be going live with him. So you folks will be able to actually ask him questions live. I have downloaded and printed off questions that have already been asked on our uh, Axtel entertainers um, group. Very cool. So I've got those, and then you're going to be able to follow up with your own questions here live with Al Gettler. All right, let me bring Al on. Yep, Al's an amazing guy. There hey, he Al is, Gettler. Al. There he is. Here live from Vermont. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> your show has been, uh, your show has been um, amazing. <laughs> but, uh, I need to... Uh, I need to get to the post office, so I will see you all later. Uh, oh, my gosh. You. No, don't go anywhere, Bernie. Oh. I mean, Al. Al. <laughs> These are Al. officially like the same mittens that Bernie had Really? On. <clears throat> These are, yeah, these are our, our famous Vermont. This is a standard issue in yeah, uh, Vermont. In Vermont, they do two things. They lower your body temperature, 
<coughs> so really? cold blooded, and they uh, give you these these repurposed sweater mittens. But these are actually the same. <laughs> same so, do babies get them as well? Of course, yes. Yeah, babies same size. Um, we have a mitten queen uh, mm. who uh, is crowned every uh, every January fifteenth. <laughs> You're uh, kidding. And, yeah, seriously, a mitten queen. Fortunately, it's a it's a young woman that looks the most like Bernie Sanders. So. <laughs> It is not one that has a lot of competitors. But, yeah. Anyway. No, I actually, oh, you know, cute. Steve, I, I don't know. I, 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 You know this, but I, I'm actually talking to you from Vermont. So uh, yes. Bernie actually owns a place just north uh, of where we live. And uh, we see a him. A place or his house? No, he lives in Burlington, Vermont. I'm on the oh. Champlain Islands. Uh, and so uh, Bernie, uh, my, my wife used to run the... Uh, the farmer's market here. We live in a very quaint place. Love it very much. Oh, uh, and so Bernie cool. was a regular. Uh, thank you, Joe. Joe says, home and Ben and Jerry's. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, which is why I fill out more of the screen than I should. But um, <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah. so I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you from Vermont, which is why we have uh, we have great humor in our house about, about Bernie. He's, uh, oh, he's, yeah. he's, a, he's a character. Super fun, man. Yeah. So you're not only um, a Vermontian, but you're also a fireman in Vermont. Well, it's technically Volunteer a Vermont, fire department. It is a Vermonter, number one. Let's correct you there. Sir. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, not Vermont a Vermonter. And I am technically, I am a flatlander. A flatlander? <laughs> what, you what's know, the difference? You, huh? I don't know. I don't know. What's the difference? So the difference is I am, I am, uh, I am from, not from Vermont. Um, oh, 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 Nancy and I have been here for five years, uh, going on six, oh. came here to run a newspaper in Vermont um, back then and. We remain, and uh, my daughter's a senior in high school, and then we'll see where life brings us, right? But, uh, you know, yep. I, I, we love it here. I love it here. We love it here. And uh, so, you know, that being said, but, yeah, I'm originally from New Jersey. When I first met mm. you, I was from New Jersey, right. <laughs> my home state, yep. and then we've bounced all over. We've been in the Midwest. We've been in the Upper North. I always East. teased you because, because you were from the East Coast. I always said that you were like one of the Kennedys. All right, yeah. You got the big Steve. teeth. You had the whole. Well, I, uh, yeah. I uh, remember when I met you. Ask you what, what you can do for the Van Haven Museum. <laughs> All right, for Van Haven Museum, I love it. Yeah, wow, super cool. So you, um, uh, we've known each other for I don't know, thirty years, twenty five years, hundred and seventy five. So. I looked it up, hundred seventy five years. Yeah. yeah, you're a ventriloquist. You're also a. Um, do you do some magic in your shows? I do not do magic. No, I'm not okay. a magician. Uh, I admire uh, magicians a great deal. Ken Dunn um, said you're not a magician, so I I am ask not you directly uh, because he said you're not. So I, I okay, good. Yeah, Joshua J. I just had him on my show a few weeks ago. What an yep. amazing magician! If anybody has not seen Joshua J.'s act, he's incredible. Yep. There, there's there's a shout out. Yeah. Oh, super cool. Yeah. So uh, because we've known each other and your um, also uh, in the entertainment field. And I mean, literally, you've come every single year to Van Haven along with, uh, uh, I believe, I don't know, you missed maybe one or two, but uh, along with Jeff Dunham, you guys were like both 13 years old when you were hanging around. Both of you were in diapers at the time. No, J Jeff came, started going long, uh, before I did anyway. Um, okay. And uh, I was a little bit of a late bloomer. I've got a great story about the, the, uh, the convention. You know, I was one of uh, of six kids growing up, and um, the idea of mom and dad sending uh, me to a convention in Cincinnati was, you know, was just about Smart. impossible. Uh, yeah. There's a great ventriloquist, Lee Pittsburgh, that used to go live the next town over from me. He'd come back and tell me tales. Uh, and but uh, here's the cool part. Uh, you know, when I when I uh, met Nancy, we got married, and you know, life just moved fast. And I still had not been to the convention. I was we were young. We were in our early twenties. My dad called me up one day and mom got on the extension phone. Remember those days, uh, Steve? Yeah. You know? I love it. Yeah. Hang yeah, on. Yeah. Your mom's getting on right now. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Are you there? Oh, 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 oh. I'm here. Yeah, exactly. Can I talk to you, Al? Good to Not see you. Far. Not far from it. Anyway, dad said we want to tell you something. Uh, we never got a chance to send you to that ventriloquist convention, <laughs> uh, which is the only way he ever pronounced it. And uh, so they sent me to my first convention. That was something my dad <sighs> wanted to do. So, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, and uh, so cool. And it was a gift from from him. They really wanted me to go, uh, and and so that was uh, an amazing thing that happened in my life. And what yeah, year was so that? Uh, well, let's see. That was probably eighty seven. Um, eighty seven. Really? Yep, yep, yep. 
Uh, I uh, threw the senior Wences birthday uh, bash um, wow. the year before that uh, and gained some notoriety in the event community that way. Jeff, and that's when Jeff and I really became very close friends. That's he so came cool. and spent some time with me then and, uh, nice. and with the family. And he's been Uncle Jeff to my kids ever since. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, great guy. Yeah. So um, so not only are you an entertainer, but you also have your your whole career is based in business and marketing. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah. So I, uh, you know, when I, when I, uh, when I finished with college, I needed a car. So uh, I decided at, at that point in time, I already get a steady job. I was doing, you know, ventriloquism. I had actually a very, very good performing business mm. in the New York city area, but I had, I had a failing vehicle that had been a vehicle. My, my great uncle had left me when he passed away. Uh, and I just said, look, I gotta get a gig. So I looked in the newspaper. I found a job at, at my local newspaper, which was quite big, a, a quite large New York area newspaper. The yep. job came with a car, Steve. And the reason <laughs> I got hired, what do you, why do you think I got hired for the job? It was working with, drive. no, it was oh, working no. with carrier boys and girls back then. Carrier? Yeah. Newspaper carrier boys and girls. Really? Yeah. Okay. And I got hired. Why? Because the, the guy hiring me looked at my resume and I had put down ventriloquist and said, Seriously? he must be good with kids. Let's hire oh, him. Gotta yep. love that. You gotta yeah. Love that. And that company supported me. I'm going to tell you, I did so many things uh, with that company. Uh, uh, they also owned a television station, shot a commercial that, that, that back then, Superstation WORI, uh, WOR Channel 9. Mm -hmm. Um that was uh, uh, a national um, network, and I did a blood donation commercial. My claim to fame is at Ram during the original Howard Stern television show on Channel really? 9. It did. <laughs> it did. Yeah. Who, by the way, is a big fan of ventriloquism, so that's kind of an interesting sidebar. Howard is? I he is. Yeah, he talks about yeah. his Jerry Mahoney dummy all oh. the time and, and loves yeah, yeah, yeah. ventriloquism, and he and Seinfeld have both talked about it, in fact. They're both... They both still have their original Jerry Mahoney dummies. Wow. Oh, yeah. cool. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. The, the ones from, uh, yeah, Horseman. The Juro, the old Juro dummies. Juro. Yeah. Yep. 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 So anyway, that's so cool. the story. But yeah, so I I, um, I spent a long time. I, I've run companies, uh, you know, around the, uh, from Ohio up to, to Boston, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and had everything from a couple hundred employees to 600 employees. And Wow. <clears throat> yeah, and had responsibility for a good sum of revenue and all wow. that. And um the job of newspaper publisher uh, was like being the CEO of a company. And so mm -hmm. that was a job that I held in several places. And uh, unfortunately, you know, it, it's changed so much in the industry. I'm still in the industry. I still love the industry. I love yep. journalism and newspapers and need, need to keep sure. it alive. Uh, but I'm a consultant now in the business and, uh, and not working in the day to day. Well, we don't want to waste your time. You are here to help us. And because you understand show business, that's what we're here about. Um, so, I mean, I've got questions, but before I get to the questions, let's just talk in general about why would you ever drink out of a jar? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> ah, I lost you there, Al. Can't hear a word you're saying. I'm sorry. There you go. Uh, th so this is this is a mason jar from Vermont. These are the mittens. They come together. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. You're I apologize. Yeah, I actually hit the cough button on my mic. So you have to drink out of a mason jar uh, in Vermont. You have to. Okay. It's the law. Yeah. No, but the other thing I was going to tell you, you deal with a lot of chickens and goats and stuff like that, and, and, <laughs> and I don't know what Ryan was just up to, but uh, yeah, no, he was, uh, he was I know. I live in the goats. most amazing place, a place I'd never think. Uh, summertime, sometimes we have meals, Steve. There, everything yeah. on our plate has come within 10 miles of our house. It's pretty incredible. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Vermont is, you know, it's all got all kinds of personalities, but uh, it, it's, it's an interesting place. So enough about that. Back to business. My, my favorite personality from Vermont, I just want to say, is Norman Rockwell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing panel. Right. Yeah. So you were asking me a question, I think, weren't you? I was. Um, yeah. Before you drank out of the mason jar, which I'm totally sorry, then I, hit my cuff I thought you were a millennium. There for those of you from home, back to you, Steve. I learned that from Ryan. Oh, yeah. There you go. Back to you. <laughs> uh, uh, so we're, we're all hey, in a Steve. Very... Back to you, man. <laughs> hey. Hey, Ryan. How are you? Good to see you. You know, Don't Steve, something's come between us. I want to talk to you about that. <laughs> Love it. 
So we're in the middle of a pandemic, and most of the questions that have come in tonight have been about this, but uh, I want to just uh, address the fact that um, all of us are in a difficult situation because yeah. the pandemic has really uh, definitely started um, something in our lives that we have never had before, and that is an interruption to the fact that we can't do live shows anymore, right. and uh, we can't get together, we can't touch anyone we can't bring up audience members to our right. um in our shows and stuff uh and so but but and we we know what the we know what the disaster is that's the disaster um and but it's it's on a cycle it's it's really bad right now but it's going to get better right folks it's going to get better yes as the um as the um um vaccine rolls out and we all get it and we have herd immunity et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we're going to be back. We're going to be back and we're going to be doing live shows again. Um, but, Al, as you know, um, there is something else to do, and that is called prepare for Absolutely. the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Steve, there, there's there's going to be pent up, dem pent up demand um, for performing, period. Um, and and it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so sick of the term new normal that, you know, let's throw that one out. Let's talk about the positive. Let's talk about the, the yeah. pent up demand. Yeah. People are going to want to do live things with other people. We yeah. are a social oh animal. We like being with wait. each other. We like experiencing the same thing with each other. And if you've ever been in front of an audience and it's a, it's a bam hot night, right? It's a good night. That audience just comes together. You can never create that, that audience again. Think about that for a second. Yep. You can yep. never create that audience again, but when it nope. goes so well, it's a shared, wonderful experience. And so I can tell you, almost guaranteed that post-pandemic, some of your, your folks with us tonight yeah. um, are going to have some of the best shows they've ever had. I, it's so exciting. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Um, and, and so uh, while, we're, while we're being um, positive and, and excited about the future, because it is coming, um, right now it doesn't feel like it. it right, right now it feels like... Oh my gosh, I don't have any shows and, you know, I'm dying on the vine here. No, this is the time to regroup, even though it's hard financially, even though it's difficult, this is the time to buckle down and nail it and get, get ready for what's coming. And, um, and, uh, buck up, let's go, let's That's go, exactly let's right. start practicing, let's yep. start, um, regrouping, let's, yep. um, Here's a few questions. I want to read one here from, this is from the UK, Paul Johnson saying um, his biggest challenge is trying to get the kids not to shout out. Now, now in the UK, they're, they're on uh, another lockdown now. Yeah. Um, so this might've been written just before that, but uh, trying to get the kids not to shout out that it's a puppet trying to talk. Yeah. Um, and to try to stop the kids pulling and tugging at the puppet, putting their hands in its mouth. And I do magic shows do about 10 minutes spot with a puppet. And I can't seem to do it just as a puppet show, even though I've got loads of puppets now. Yeah. So this is a performing question just in general, yep. you know? Yep. And I, I think uh, Steve was, is that right? What was his name? The, the gentleman's name? Paul. Paul. I'm sorry, Paul. Paul. I mean, I think, look, here's, here's the deal. You have to establish a boundary with your audience. And Absolutely. when I've worked family audiences, I have always established a boundary and you can establish boundaries, that boundaries throughout the show. I don't know what else you do, Paul, but I can tell you, and, and, you know, it, it turned out when I, when I got to know Mark Wade, he and I were doing, yep. and he recommended the same thing. And that was present a boundary that when, when I'm talking, on stage, you know, you're not supposed to talk. You can laugh. You can have fun. Sometimes I'll ask you questions and you can answer me, but please no talking, stay in your seat. So in other words, set those boundaries, but do it in a funny, friendly way. Yep. And that's how I used to do it. I used to say rule number one, no talking. And I would do a funny thing. Rule number two, stay in your seat. Rule number three. And I would say, this is the most serious rule of them all. Have fun. Right. And yeah. they would laugh. Ha ha ha. You know, the tension was let go and they follow the rules. They follow the rules. Yep. Mark Wade literally takes a rope, one of those big nautical ropes, and yep. puts them right across and says, don't – basically, that's the boundary. You yeah. know? You stay on that side. This is yeah. my side. Yeah. And uh, and as we just heard Megan Casey, she had a light-up rope that uh, she used. Yeah. I, you got to tell you something. I am yeah. so thrilled to have been on the same show with Megan. 
I was sitting here in my office one day, my daughter, who's 18, but was probably uh, the last year, 17, came running in. She said, Dad, watch this girl on TikTok. You're not going to believe it. Oh, my gosh. And it was just a little bit she did on TikTok with, with the turtle, your turtle. And um, yeah. Yeah, I was blown away that my daughter. She's incredible. And yeah, I said, so oh, that's that Megan. She said, oh, yeah, like you know her. I said, yeah, I, actually I do. do. Yeah. I do know yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we know Megan from way back. Uh, when she a was great just a person. little girl. And her dad's yeah. a very uh, nice man, too. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, and another another person in the field that is a, a teacher is David Ginn, the magician. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, David Ginn said it's really important when you start your show to establish control. And yes. the way he does it is with a little prop called a wilting flower. And he brings up the wilting flower. And that's just a, a simple flower you pull a string on at the bottom with your pinky. Yeah, I get a little ring on the bottom it of it. bends yeah. over. The flower just yeah. simply bends over. That's all yep. it is, right? Yep. But he gets kids to clap really loud and stop. Yeah. And he gets, let's clap really loud and stop. And when it stops, it falls over and they laugh. Let's clap really loud and yep. stop. When you do that a few times, you've established a sense of control over them right. as a group. And so you are now calling the commands and they're following in your footsteps because it's fun. And uh, that's really an important part to uh, start uh, your show. And, and Mark Wade, it's all about the warm up. Yeah. The warm up. Yeah. Yep. Mark Wade in his book, Kid Show Ventriloquism, talks all about that. And he's a real Absolutely. good buddy with, with David. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No. And it's so true. Somebody just said, you know, chalk or, or painter's tape, too. That works. Um, yes. You know, I found that you don't want to use chalk on the uh, uh, expensive imported carpeting, but uh, <laughs> painter's tape, you know, that works. So yeah, or 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 even some of that, uh, the very light uh, masking tape, the blue masking tape. You can lay it down on the carpet; it's not going to stick. Uh, we had a comment um, on the screen here, Steve. Can I answer that one to, for for Rob? Sure. I can tell you've been hosting these. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. you know, this is Streamyard. No. It's my jam. Somebody asked before why Streamyard. You and I talked about right. it. I, I use it every day. Uh, Rosalind, I, I'm going to say not Rosalind, but Rosalind. How do you know when you're ready to, to do live performances? So There you go. I mean, if you want to answer that first or I, I can answer no, it, go for it. Up to yeah. you. Look, you know, um, first of all, you're never ready, <laughs> right? Yeah, if you feel like you're, you're more than ready, you probably should stop performing because I get nervous <laughs> every show. I've been backstage with some of the most uh, amazing performers who still get nervous before a show, so that's not it. You're ready uh, for a live performance as soon as you're ready to put two people in one room to watch you do something and give you some feedback on that and keep on getting feedback and keep on doing shows and keep on doing shows. I've got to tell you, Rosalind, here's the deal. Perform in front of other people as much as you possibly yep. can. Yep. I love to tell the story. I performed for my family once at a big anniversary party in Long Island, and I crashed and burned like you wouldn't believe. Like two minutes into it, everybody started talking to each other out loud, and I just, you know, I died. I literally died. I came back triumphantly 20 years later with my family at a big family party and absolutely killed. So was I ready when I performed live in front of those folks? Yes, but I was ready to learn a lesson. And I was ready again 20 years later. So just always, Rosalind, perform whenever you possibly can. You don't need to get paid in the beginning. Hmm. Rotary clubs, lion clubs, uh, when they are back together. Actually, they're all they're all meeting right now on Zoom. Do a Zoom show. Oh, Incredible. sweet. Absolutely do a yes. Zoom show. Yep. Yeah. Uh, virtual shows are going right now are kind of the thing. We need to pivot. If you've yes. been doing live stage shows or if you're afraid to do live stage shows, you need to learn how to do virtual Absolutely. shows because uh, it opens up so many opportunities for you. You would not believe it. Uh, it's way more than local. As you know, it's international. And if you have um, your um, name out there on any kind of social media platform, you're going to be able to be watched live yeah. during um, a, one of these live streams. And it's, yeah. it's incredible. The uh, opportunity that it, avails you to what happened that was a segue to you i was okay because yeah. you know what i was reading sherry's comment long island's oh, okay. a tough audience yeah sorry oh, see you're already you know, on i have adhd a butterfly 
No, whoa, I, uh... whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Sh Sherry was saying, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's a tough audience in Long Island. I I'm from New York too. So oh, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, Sherry, Sherry, it is a tough crowd. And, you know, I'm from world war two vets and people who've seen it all and Bob Hope on stage and all that stuff, you know, so you gotta be good. Right. Kid, you know, and uh, my uncle That's Billy it. used to say, Doddle a deer, doddle a deer, right? And uh, all that stuff. So, I mean, yeah, it's tough, but that's all right. And, uh, you know, that's how you learn. Back to Rosalind. I love that question, Rosalind. And Nancy Dubin, thank you very much. That was very nice of you to say. Thank you. All right. So here's one from Peter Norgard in Denmark. You know, Peter. Uh, Peter says uh, his biggest challenges, his top three are PR and marketing. Things are constantly changing uh, where and what you should advertise. Also, flight cases and travel cases, something you should think about, Steve. Uh, I guess I should manufacture those. And <laughs> never enough space to perform on. You want to take any of those? PR well, and marketing. The, the first one, marketing. Yeah, look, absolutely. Yep. It is constantly changing. It's staying on top of marketing today is, is, is next to impossible. It's fascinating what's happening, though. First of all, I had, I had a message the other day from somebody who runs an agency just talking about how hard it's for getting to, to work with, with places like the platform we're on right now. I won't say it so it doesn't set off any alarms or bells. So it's constantly evolving, right? And the yep. thing is just you've got to find out where is your audience. That's the number one thing. If you are a child, a children's performer, I, I hate that term. If you're a family performer, family performer, where are you finding that they are they are they are going to get information? Is it is there a neighborhood website? Is there a um, <clears throat> by the way, a newspaper, believe it or not still gets well read, uh, especially those free papers that come to families' homes yeah. that have pictures of kids in them. So, I mean, you know, use all of those things available to you. You could do a digital campaign, but you could end up spending a lot of money. And uh, You know, those, those, print, uh, those print mediums are, are really in a battle as well to stay because everything's oh, going digital. So they absolutely. are freaking out and looking for content like crazy. Exactly. If you've got something to share because you are a local performer in, in their local neighborhood, their yes. area, let them know because no they might just do a story on you and you wouldn't believe the publicity. Not only that, that, Steve, submit a story. Take your own picture. You do you cut your cut your own press release. So there's another great another great answer too. Your content can be picked up in so many places. Yeah. Learn how to do a press release. Learn how to follow up on it via email and phone calls. Television stations are also desperate for content. Newspapers are desperate for content. Even radio stations, if your local radio station has a news format, they're going to not only put you on the air, but they're also going to videotape you because their website needs video. Yeah. So there's, yeah. there's all kinds of ways to not spend a nickel on marketing. I will tell you the one thing you can definitely invest in is a very good, basic, responsive website, and you're never uh, going to go wrong with that. There you go. Never. There you yeah. go. Uh, Damian James is asking, uh, any advice on doing virtual shows because the uh, regarding the actual performances, he's done a, um, a couple and found it awkward. Um, ha ha. But if that's the only option, then I guess we got to step up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it is awkward. All right? You're not getting the same feedback. Steve mentioned it before. You're not getting the same feel. And also when you're in front of an audience, as you know, Damien, uh, you're a skilled guy. Uh, you know, yeah. there, there, there's an energy nice. that comes from a live crowd, you know. So there's no two oh, ways yeah. about it. And, sure. um, you know, I, I would say the thing is, is just just persevere. Just go through it. Uh, and uh, Chuck uh, Chuck Field, who uses a couple of your, uh, your puppets in his show, uh, Steve, Chuck yeah. has been very successful at virtual shows. So I would say folks should yeah. read out to Chuck out of Phoenix and talk to him about what he's doing because he's been pretty successful. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. A lot of folks are doing really well with uh, virtual shows. And uh, Damien, you're, you're so talented. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I've my God. On, you you've been on America's Got Talent and you've yeah. been on uh, Fool Us yeah. and you just you're you're just an incredible puppet. Penn and Teller, as well. the Penn and Teller. Full, yeah. Fool Fool Us. Us. Right. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. And um, just having the fact that 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 you're available and would put yourself out there um you know you should be getting uh, a ton of followers a ton of followers yeah it's yeah. it's really not that hard folks once you are on the air and you're starting to get shared with um other people families will share it with other families you would not believe your show how it can spread around the internet it's incredible it's actually way easier 
than it yeah. is in real life and even in your community. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and you're right. I mean, look at what Megan's doing with TikTok, you know. Yeah. Uh, short a little video. And a half 1. Followers. 1. 1.9 million. I mean, come on. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. You know what? Also, Steve, I, you know, I'm focusing on, on the people that you – and Amanda's got a great question, but I'm focusing on the people that, that use some of your, your puppets. Nicholas Bushy out of New York City. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, Nicholas, I have used him as an example to so many people. Do not sit there and tell me you can't perform. This young man puts out a video or two a day, a yep. day. And, and I'm good. telling you right now, yeah. uh, when you're pushing me around the museum uh, in a wheelchair, <laughs> this is going to be that kid who's uh, headlining in Vegas. I'm telling you, he's working so hard. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a fact. By the way, that could be next guy. summer, but I'm just saying. Okay. No, 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 no. Hey, <laughs> dude. You're you're one of my heroes. You're a fireman as well. Doing oh, this yeah. during the day, you just got off of a, a actual fire. Uh, well, I'm a volunteer uh, here in Vermont. I, I did a yeah. little uh, later in but, life. I mean, just before you came on here, you yeah. actually were yeah. on yeah. a We've fire had a busy day. drill. We've had a busy I day. Had a drill, yeah. but a, uh, what do you call it? A, no, a, we had a we had a a, a log. Uh, you know, we're, we do logging industry here. We had a logger truck uh, go off the road in the snow. Um, Kind of like yes. the heavy rescues thing you see on, on the Weather Channel. Yes. Very right. much that kind of a situation, you know, which our, our job in that case is really just safety, making sure people are safe, making sure people, yeah. you know, are, are behaving. But then I also, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an EMT as well. So I go on a lot wow. of medical calls as well. Yeah. 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 Oh, my Great goodness. Great group of guys. Just here. An honor. You were just on with uh, Lee Kitchen with uh, Disney. From Disney. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. And I watched that show. And then, then, you left, you closed <laughs> off, and I and I sent you a message, and you came on and go, hey, Steve, I'm actually on an emergency call right now. Could I? Yeah. I'm like, seriously? Okay, yeah. Well, I got to tell you something funny about Lee's show, too. I, I forgot my yeah. phone, uh, which is an Apple phone, by the way, Brian. Uh, oh. Brought to you by yeah. Steve Jobs. and uh, Nailed it. He forgot it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, guys. Just want to chime in here. So glad to hear. Brian you're, you're, Brian, you're too small. I can't hear you. Brian. <laughs> oh, oh, you're my bad. Small. Oh, there you go. Hey, right, you. Great job on the Apple stuff. Back to you. <laughs> yeah, great. Good. I, the funny thing was, my phone, I left it home. So I actually could, grabbed a ride on an ambulance back to the rescue station to, uh, you know, grab my car and run and get my phone and get the guys some. So some of the guys were out there with get some coffee so I could be back here for Lee. And, oh, uh, wow. Thank you. So, Juggling a Thank lot, you. but I'm sorry. Yeah. I digress. Appreciate it. Hey, one of the things I want to I want to say to encourage everyone, and you can chime in and help me with this um, concept, is that even though we're not getting money from maybe some of the efforts that we're putting out, like we're doing shows, let's say we do a viral show and it's free. Mm -hmm. I wasn't paid. I didn't have a Patreon. I didn't right. have uh, Facebook um, or a PayPal any way to pay me for it. I don't even know how to do that or whatever. Was it worth doing? Was it worth doing? Yeah. And yeah. it always is. And and it it's, always it's the is. same, whether we are, we are in socially connected or socially distancing, any performance is gold because it's an opportunity. Absolutely. To Bottom line. And it, it's going to build your audience. It's going to build your reputation uh, people are going to remember that show and you will find that you're going to grow your market, your personal market as an entertainer is going to grow uh, by doing these things. You're adding value to what you do. You're 100%. adding value to their lives and, uh, and tell them to come on, bring their kids, just have fun. Don't worry about don't worry about the money. Don't worry about anything. Just do it. Yeah. And pretty soon you're going to find you've got a following. Yeah. And with that following, then you can start charging for shows. And once this thing is over, we're going to be back uh, going strong. And they're going to be yeah. saying, hey. Pent up demand. Pent up demand. Pent yeah. up demand, and indeed. And if you've yeah. got uh, experience doing virtual shows, that's a huge, valuable skill. Yeah. It absolutely is. Uh, because when hey. you go back to doing live shows, um, Ryan won't be in the middle of you. And that'll yeah. be good. <laughs> Hey, real quick, um, wanted to jump in. I have a yep. couple of questions in the comments. I just want to throw your guys' way. I know you sure. got some more comments that people commented uh, earlier. 
So I want to just jump back real quick to uh, Amanda, who's been a longtime insider, who's just asking yep. if she, she's wanted to make puppets, she's been making puppets, any tips for um, how to price them? And then once you answer that, I'll, I'll pop uh, one more from Rosalind on the screen about uh, marketing. So I just want to throw that to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a great question. Don't you think, Steve? I think so. Um, if, yeah. you're, if you're making puppets, of course, it depends on how the quality is and how they're Damn. perceived. Damn. Uh, you you got to understand that in the in the puppet market, there's everything from the low end to the high end. Anything from thirty dollars up to three hundred thousand exactly. dollars um, for characters, and and it, it, of course it depends on animations and all those things. But um, with just basic moving mouth puppets, any anywhere from thirty to five hundred dollars, uh, you're going to find characters in that range. And of course, people are only going to pay for what they trust. So you got to build your audience first. Yeah. You can't just price them and hope to sell. No, there's a bit of a controversy going on in the ventriloquist world right now on this subject of, look, you know, it's just like performing, you know, when you're ready yeah. to charge for performing, you'll be ready to charge when you perform. But yeah. if you're going to do yeah. a poor quality puppet and charge a lot of money for it, just because you think you should, or you yeah. can, no, Steve's right. Get a following. You know, my feeling is in the beginning, always give more value. Always give more value. Exactly. Steve gave more than you do. in the beginning. I remember your value was uh, your value proposition for your work was just tremendous. The bird arm illusion was so affordable and so added such a level of, of wow to my shows. But I didn't, you know, that's how you built the trust in your audience, Steve, was yeah. – you know, yeah. those birds, the bird arm illusion, you hit the marketplace, people want, wow, and look where you are today. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that donut keeps staring me in the eye above you. I'm getting very hungry. <laughs> yeah. The donut. Uh, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Duncan, he likes you because you're from Vermont. Yeah. You guys I like, out, you know, I, I you like your cops. donuts there, don't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, you're, we fire, you're in the fire. That's kind yeah, of like hang these. Cops. Hey, donuts. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I got another one here. This is from uh, Barbara Whiteman, and she said uh, that these are her challenges. Uh, microphone not working correctly, disorganized event from the organizer that hired her, and not having a plan B. How important is a plan B? Well, plan B sh sh should always be in place, but let's start with plan A. Okay, do you have a writer um, when, you, when, you, when you book a show? And writer or a writer, a writer, R I D E R. Ah, yeah. Right. So do even if it, it, even if it's a family party in a private home, I learned very early on that you should have a, a confirmation agreement. Doesn't need to be a contract. A confirmation agreement that states these are the things you expect. So when you're talking about a show with a microphone, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, you should tell people what that microphone should be like, how it should work. And here's the bottom line, quite frankly. Oh, I, man. until unless I'm working a good sized venue, I have a PA system that can, that can 800 watts per speaker. Wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I don't trust a lot of sound systems. So, but in a rider, what, what is a rider? A rider is, says you have to have a quality sound system, depending on the size of the audience, with a sound person to do that. You have to have lighting, you have to have, the, the chairs laid out a certain way, yep, 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 you know, yep. all those things. So the best thing I can tell you is be very clear with the booker, what you expect them to provide you. And if, if you're afraid they're not going to provide it to you, bring your own stuff. Ah, that's, that's plan B. Yeah. So having a backup plan, uh, bring your own stuff in case they don't come through with what you, what you required in your writer. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and Joey asked, how do you charge for the show on the screen here, Steve? Um, you know, I, if you're asking me in relation to the sound system, I also have had writers that say, if I need to provide my own sound, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to cost you, you know, $500 more, $1,000 yep. more. There you go. Uh, yep. And, uh, you know, unless you want to, you know, you're, I can't believe you're going to have a banquet for the yearly awards dinner and not have a sound system. Right. So there you go. Uh, That's right. There's that question from Rosalind. That, that, there you uh, go. Yeah. How do you create a marketing balance with shows for children and adults? Um, well, a marketing I think balance between, yeah. 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 I, I think you're talking about family audiences. If you ask me, you know, um, yeah. here, here's the deal, Rosalind, if you do a great job for an audience and it's a family audience, 
Um, you, you, they're going to come to you afterward and say, hey, by the way, do you perform for corporations? Do you perform for adults? Do you perform for? That's how I started performing for, for audiences uh, above the birthday. I had a fantastic birthday business going on in the New York City area. And one day, uh, a man walked up to me, the father of the birthday child. Uh, and what had happened was there was a group of adults that stayed in the room in a very big house in Alpine, New Jersey, where people like Chris Rock live, right? They all sat there and they watched the show and they laughed really hard. Um, and uh, the, the, he came up to me afterwards and said, hey, by the way, do you do adult shows? And I'm thinking, oh, mm -hmm. what does that mean, adult shows? He just wanted me to come and have 15 minutes of fun with his wife for her 40th oh, birthday. Cool. But guess what that yeah. did? It cracked open a whole different audience for me, Rosalind. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And adult doesn't necessarily mean dirty. Not at all. Uh -uh. No, no. Adult, adult just means that you're you're dealing with subject matter that's that we get, that's fun, and that the kids may not get, may not may not quite understand or whatever. And it's not we're not doing Sesame Street. No, no, yeah. absolutely not. Yep, super cool. Um, man, this has been so cool to hang with you and to get your information. Ryan has something he wants to share. He has a question from. The, Either uh, that or you need help giving me the boot. I was just getting the shuffle just then. So. I do. Hey, Al was supposed to be done like 30 minutes ago, bro. You yeah. got to kick him off, man. I no, um, I had a couple more. Now, but you came on, so okay. Oh, no, I'm, just, I'm teasing, man. <laughs> this is great content. Hey, I just had a couple more um, questions in the yep. comments I wanted to throw to Al before uh, we wrap up. So real quick, if anyone else has questions, I'm going to show the last couple in the comments. Uh, put them in the comments real quick before we uh, wrap up this segment. Mm -hmm. um, but I had uh, just a couple more I wanted to show you. Uh, I had a funny comment from Damien. Uh, yep. He said this, Ryder requires microphone. When you get the gig, here's your podium <laughs> mic attached to the karaoke machine set to high reverb. <laughs> We've hey, all been there. Hey, but Damien, I did that show. <laughs> must do that. Yeah. <laughs> to Al's point, and I, hello, I'm hello, not a ventriloquist, hello. but as a musician and artist and performer, I have a writer for when I go play music events. and. Yep. I've found that it's valuable. None of us want to be, you know, the prima donna that has, you know, the, the green M&Ms, you know, yellow canary kind of thing. Which, side note, Van Halen put the green M&Ms in their rider because they figured that if, if the venue caught the fact that they wanted green M&Ms, it meant they caught everything else. Yeah, and they have riggings right. that could fall and kill Bingo. people. So yeah. it was, a, it was yeah. a canary in the That's coal right. mind, if you will. Exactly. But or a red herring. What I have found is it's better to be – red herring would be a little different. Um, mm, back yeah. to me, Steve. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but Bro, I think that when it comes – Yeah, right. I need to do that. When it comes to um, setting a rider – it's better to to be to give more detail and then reserve the right to um, pull it back. Yeah, um, and I found it's it's better to put more information than you need in the writer. And yeah. if someone comes back to you and says, "Hey, we don't have that kind of sound system. Hey, we don't have this," then you can oh, say, "No okay. problem, we can work it out." I'll bring my um, own. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but it's better to put all the information out first because mm -hmm. it'll at least prompt the question. So if you're worried about audio, visual, whatever. Um, I think it's better to be to be uh, more upfront, and then you can yep, always totally. reserve the right to change your mind and, and make things simpler. Um, but if you start out really basic, it's really hard to ask for more. If then they, because then they might say, "Hey, you didn't ask for this upfront." Um, yeah. Okay, real quick, just just a couple more comments. Yep. Um, Amanda Stump had another question. She said, um, "Are walkarounds good exposure for ventriloquists who are just starting out?" So Amanda uh. is a puppet maker. And she is starting out and she's looking, you know, to get her, her designs kind of out in the market. Mm -hmm. So what would you guys say to that? One designs in the market. If, if she's selling to other ventriloquists, that's a different market than doing performances as a walk around, well, which I is think, to find an audience for herself as a, a ventriloquist. I believe she is both. I believe she is looking to sell puppets, but also perform as well. Amanda, I, I can tell you that I uh, performed walk around a lot um, over the years, and um, it is a gift to ad libbing. If you are not comfortable with that living, you better learn quick when you do walk around. Mm. Uh, it is absolutely a gift to being sharp. It's absolutely a gift to paying attention to the mm -hmm. uh, aliveness of your character, how alive they are, how they're interacting, uh, how you're going to get laughs that way. It's a physical art what we do, right? I mean, it, it's it's illusion, it's acting, it's very yep. physical. 
I, uh, I'll, in fact, I'll show you. I, I have one of you know Steve's wonderful creations here. You know, nice. Uh, yeah, oh, Louie. <laughs> Yo, look, hey, Daddy. Yeah. That's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, Louie, you know, joined my act uh, for a medical show that I used to do years <laughs> ago. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, I was in that. You were in that. Yeah, yeah. So here's the deal. If I'm talking and, and I just do this with Louie as I'm speaking, that's yeah. awful. Okay. Yeah. So walk around forces you to be able to uh, have conversations with people, have Louie interact, have him move, have him, you know, be part yes. of the scene, you know, and, and, and learn more about the puppet. Like for instance, Louie, uh, one of the things I discovered about Louie is I lose, I use the thumb to move his mouth as yep. much as yep. I can and yep. not, not the whole face, you know? Yeah, I like mm. that. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Hell, get where? That's right. Yeah, and we're here with <laughs> now. Yeah, and Ryan. Yeah, Zach, to you, Ryan. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, right. So, right. Al, yeah. uh, one of the things I've noticed uh, a lot of a lot of uh, beginning ventriloquists, the biggest challenge that they have is what you said, which is to keep the character moving when you're talking, keep it alive. Uh, so it's looking around. So if you're singing, if he sings one verse and you sing another verse. A lot of times they just freeze. Yeah. What? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> so one of the things important too. You notice one of the things, and this is this is helpful. Uh, yep. I am looking at. I'm trying to find what. I'm trying to find his irises in the lens yep. of the camera. Yep. Why? Yep. Because uh, if he's looking at the camera, I'm alive. Yes, you're alive. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm the real boy. <laughs> You're a real boy. That's right. yeah. So that's all, all part of it. So walk around. There's yep. the short answer is do walk around. I agree. Yeah, do it a lot, and and you're going to learn a lot about nice. your Love art. It. So there you go. Now, Steve, Sorry. I have a I have a question. I notice when Al does it, his mouth doesn't move. When you do it, your mouth moves a lot. Is that intentional? Oh. Yes. Or is that just Steve? Do age? not absolutely. It's, a, it's intentional. Yeah, Steve, it's intentional. don't don't answer the question, Steve. <laughs> It's a marketing. Hey, this toy. is coming from someone who can't do it at all. So I don't no answer the question, that. Steve. Do not answer the question. Thank you. Back to you, Al. Oh, Thank man. you, Steve. I can't, I can't help it. But um, oh, no, stop. great, great advice, Rosalind and uh, Henry. And I'm gonna shuck the snake, Henry. Don't worry. One of these days, I'm gonna get. <laughs> well, Ryan, you know why you're. You know why Steve invented this. Because this was his. Uh, <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Mike Mouth. Mike there it is. Mouth. Yeah, he said, you know, here's my ventriloquism course. <laughs> there it is, right good there. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Oh, man. So, <laughs> so good. And the beauty is in the pandemic, you know who built those? Of Al? Just, who? Just you know who? Put a, hold it. Put hold a mask it. On. Hold it. Oh. You know who built those, Al? Tell me who. Who built those? Did you really? I did for a long time. Ryan built college. most of them. You know, uh, Ryan, you are the exact same age as my daughter, MK. Uh, oh, cool. was, oh, yeah, really? and uh, I'm going to let her know that her contemporary. Uh, there you, you go. Know, she's a marketing executive for a startup. And uh, <laughs> dude, yeah. I went. I went to. Uh, I went to Seattle Pacific. I was a double major in music and business marketing and management, and I built bird arm illusions and mic mounds through college. Yep. That's yep. amazing. And I would yep. ship them from Seattle back to Ventura. Well, and I, and I have to say, you know, you're part of a very special family, and you are mm. the full package, Ryan. Thank you, man. I watch you yep. all the time, man. And uh, oh man, there's gonna be a day when I'm out there soon where I'm gonna see yep. you guys. I want to be there on a night you a gig because I gotta see. Yeah. You. Yeah. Oh man, that's great, man. It's it's such a privilege so for me to just you know jump in the mix with with Steve and you know I've I've observed the family business obviously for a long time, um, and. Our paths just crossed a couple of years ago. It made sense for us to Steve. I know when I'm around the office, he's Steve. I gotta, know. gotta avoid the uh, family weirdness, you know. But um, man, he it's such a you, I, I understand he calls you poopy pants when you're. Uh, <laughs> he calls me. He, he, he uses the term subordinate. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's some it's business cute term. You it's cute name. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But you know, it's it's so fun for me just to jump on board, and you know, my goal is just to support and help bring to fruition, you know, the amazing idea Steve has because he's got yeah. so much. And I feel like I have some skills in, in the marketing oh and my gosh. Realm that yeah. help, he's, help bring those to fruition. Yeah. yeah but man, know. he's got, he's got so many ideas we haven't even acted on yet. He doesn't stop. Fruition. It's incredible. 
I know. He does. You no, know, I, yeah. I think Ryan, you might not know this, but one of the one of the uh, first uh, tours that I did, not tours, but uh, on-site interviews. I just take my iPhone. Uh, by the way, it was an iPhone brought to you by Apple. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, and I would Rock do live. Solid. Yeah, I would do live streams oh, all yeah, around. You the say country. that now. Your last one was cracked. Yeah. Smashed. Well, you couldn't even use but, it. Okay. But I did. I did it there at, at Xtel, and it was just an amazing experience. Oh, cool. Steve's Steve's energy and his 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 brilliance, and he always wants to show you what he's working on next, and that's. That's the deal, man. That's the deal. And you know what I've, you know what I've loved about Steve too is um, Steve slash Dad. I know we're in the weird zone, but he <laughs> um, he's someone that likes to give away a lot of the knowledge he's gathered. Yeah, and I think that's so cool because I think you know in our business, any anytime you have something that you you've gained, you you have to wrestle with you know do I keep this to myself as a right trade on. secret or do I. Do I give it away? And I think what I love sure. about Axtel is our heart is to help people make the world a happier place. And so by doing this weekly show, by jumping in, yeah, you know, just share, just share what we've learned and, and give people the benefit of the doubt. I think I've really come to enjoy that and bring people on like you who have just so much, you know, knowledge and influence within the business realm and entertainment realm. And then, well, you know, thanks. jump in with Steve and, um, you know, we're just looking to equip the next generation of entertainers to make the world a happier place. And I think coming out of a pandemic, coming out of a season of political strife, you know, we're all looking for um, ways to unite and yep. comedy and laughter and fun is a way to do that. And yep. so many of our entertainers who are watching right now do those kinds of things. And yep. so yeah. if we can help equip them to make the world a happier place, we feel like we're doing our job. So I'm just, you know, I'm just had- glad to help Steve achieve that. Oh, thank you, buddy. We've had a uh, constant 30 people on right now throughout this entire show. Yeah. And um, by, by tomorrow, we'll have 2,000 people that have watched this video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what's so cool about this is that we have an actual impact on other performers and to encourage each other in this mm-hmm. dark time in, uh, in, in this history of entertainment. Um, we really want to... Uh, stress the fact that community is really important and yeah. yep. anything I can do personally or Al can do or Ryan can do, uh, we want to do it to encourage you. Uh, some folks are so depressed right now. Yeah. That's yeah. not what we want. We don't want to, we don't want to uh, see that. We want to help yeah. you and encourage you because if, if some of us have more hope than others, then we need to stress that so that they can yeah. hang on to our hope. Because as we get through this, we are going to really succeed. And together, we're going to learn new skills. We're going to carry this virtual thing on forward through us uh, uh, into our futures, even though uh, we're going to be back on stage live. Yeah, this got got really heavy. Ryan, can I have the full screen for a second? You got it, man. (laughs) So for $2 a day, folks, you too can sponsor a ventriloquist. Dial (laughs) 1-800-2. And we'll send you a postcard from a ventriloquist somewhere in the UK. Oh, Thank my you gosh. for your donation. <laughs> this Ryan, go ahead and put the one so strange. <laughs> this is not. Let me go ahead and pop that over. <laughs> it got way too heavy. It got way oh, too heavy. Oh, my way gosh. Too, sorry, too folks. <laughs> no, but I'm I think you made a good point. And this well, is it was Steve a point that just on. got squashed. So, okay. <laughs> and Al, you're, you're in Thank this you. space. Back to you, Al. Oh, Ryan, sorry. Is. Catchphrase. Sorry, copyright. Um, the truth is, Yep. Even when live stuff comes back, yep. the digital realm is not going away. No. And uh-uh. I work in the church world. I work in the music world a yep. lot. And they're experiencing the same thing, which is the live no. experience is second to none. But Absolutely. at the same time, the digital experience is not going away. And so I think for a lot of us, you, you know, there's some of us that have made the transition maybe to digital shows. Yep. At the same time, that's still sort of a – a new territory for a lot of us and we haven't figured that out yet and i think for what we have to understand is in this next year or so yeah even if live stuff comes back the digital show the virtual cool. show the live stream the you know the birthday party yeah. the, the special facebook group you know that's not Ryan, going away and so yeah the answer is to know both right Al? you mentioned exactly. you mentioned churches i mean way yeah. before yep. any of this happened the, you know churches have been doing the most amazing services that have been 
that have been beamed between campuses, beamed to people who are mm. who are stuck at home, but beamed to people who right. just want to follow a certain church and are, don't live in that place. The uh, production uh, value that that churches have been doing for a decade um, mm. has been yeah. a lesson for all of us that. You know, you can do an amazing job on video, make it virtual, and it's yep. no it's less moving, true. you know? Yeah. I've seen some amazing church yep. services done that way. Yeah. Imagine the fact that we are able to now communicate and connect with people all over the world. Incredible. If it's I was incredible. doing a live show right now as Inside Axtell, I would have maybe three people here from Ventura. Yeah. Right. Maybe a couple people from L.A. would have come up. And sat here, so I'd have five. But we have thirty people live with us right now from all over the world. We have people from at least three or Gosh, four. We different have countries. Tanya Trailer all the way from the Middle East. Dubai, oh, right that, now. Yeah, Florida, there she is. Florida, whichever it is. She is. She is. She's <laughs> uh, incredible. Uh, you know, to that point, Steve. Too, there are people yep. who get uh, caught up, and I'm moving to Brattleboro. Hey, reach out to me. Uh, Brattleboro, Vermont, or Brattleboro in, in England? I don't know. But anyway, that being Sheila, said, I think Sheila's in the she's in the United States. Okay, yeah. So, so the, but there there are people who get they say, oh God, I only I only I'm still trying to figure out how S I L E is Sheila. I'm still trying. I'm sorry, but <laughs> we I, have I, mispronounced my mind her name is blown for like nine weeks in a row. Sheila, we apologize. Yeah. Henry's here. Yeah, yeah. Harry is well, here. Can, I, can I make my point or not? Is that, is that I'm not allowed to make my point? Can I make my no, point? Yeah, make you are. Point. You are. Come Back on. to you, Al. Oh, I felt I felt like I was being shut down there for a second, and uh, you know, I just got upset. Anyway, no, I was going to say people. People, they say, "Oh, I only had a hundred people watch this, that, or the oh. other thing." Oh, you my know, goodness. if you did a live show and you had a hundred people in the audience, you'd be pretty darn thrilled, you know. Oh man! Um, and so, I mean, let's just get away from the fact that just if you did a Zoom show for some people, recorded it and posted it on, on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Hey, come on. Come on, it's just it's an amazing That's medium right. that way. Amazing. Even if you had five people live with you and then you archive it, that archived video is Absolutely. going to spill out into yeah. thousands of people that are going to watch it later. Don't worry about it. Don't feel bad that only five people yeah. were watching it or whatever. Bonnie Halfon just dissed me. Oh, she, she did. Said, yes. Hi, Steve yeah. and Ryan. Dude, <laughs> I have dude. known Bonnie longer than uh, I've known you, Steve. Yeah, Bonnie. Yeah. I did not even get a mere mention in her hello. <laughs> no, the thing is, Al, you needed no mention. You're assumed. Dude, we oh, were not assumed. Stop it. Oh, we, uh, we, we had the mention oh, because hey it's guys, like, surprise, I'll be, I'll be. Gina is at Disney World. Oh, wow. There not you go. Not a surprise. Gina, Gina go back you were to today's at show. Disney. And yeah. this is interesting from uh, from uh, Kathy Prosser. She said that she was flagged that we were online, and that would only happen if we were online. It would never have happened if we were local. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool Perfect. stuff. Yeah. That is cool stuff. So we yeah. need to. All of us need to have some sort of an online effort going on right now, and later when it, when the pandemic's over and we're all back and we're doing live shows again. We will have this in our tool belt. We'll know how Absolutely. to do it. Well, and Steve, uh, Adam Shields from Australia says this, and I believe, Adam, you actually do work with Google. <laughs> I could be wrong. Um, Adam, but he, he I think he owns Google. Point. Mm, no, Maybe I believe not. he works with Google. But, yeah, you make something, and it lives online for a long time. And so there's always the opportunity to generate more interest 100%. and uh, views. And so – you know, a tip that I, I've heard uh, early on from live streaming is jump into the live stream and just go. Don't yeah. wait for people to join because yeah. when that video plays back, none of us want to hear that entertainer that's insecurely waiting for people to log on. You want to just jump into your routine or, or your music or whatever. Yeah. And um, hey, Skippy, I see. Uh, OK, I have a question uh, from Skippy. Uh, okay. In Florida, he's a um, he's an entertainer, and this is a question for Al. Uh, I think this is the right question. Let me see. How Let's can we host our Instagram pages? Um, Skippy, how can we host our Instagram pages? What do you what do you mean by that, Skippy? I'm not sure if I I grasp full the frame whole on question. Al. Skippy, can you elaborate on that? I'm not sure I I quite catch the scope of your question. Not really following directions, but okay. I will do that. 
Uh, oh, boost. How do we boost oh. Instagram pages? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you know, uh, that is not my area of expertise. I'll tell you that. But um, <laughs> I can tell you that because it's, it's, a, it's a mystery how to boost it. I can tell you it's, it's consistency. I'll go back to Nicholas Bushy again. Every single day this kid posts, it's consistency. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, Al, you raise, a, you raise a great question. I'm watching The Social Dilemma right now on Instagram or on, on Netflix, but it deals with, you know, a lot of how the algorithms work. And regardless of what you think about it, right or wrong, consistency is the thing that they look for. And so if you are a content creator, consistency is the one thing that you can do um, to really help yourself. So regular yeah. release of content is the name of the game right now, at least when it comes to um, – online social media content so totally you know the the answer is if you're if you're trying to engage in TikTok, instagram facebook each one has a slightly different algorithm but uh consistency is rewarded so the yep. more consistently you show up with regular videos regular posts yep. Yep. um that's going to favor you within the machine learning that all these companies have yeah no doubt Dude, Very cool. This has been incredible. Al, I thank you so much for joining us tonight, sharing your wisdom with us. Absolutely. And I want to tell everybody that you you are live online three to five times a week, aren't you? Uh, at least three. Yep. yep. Bro, we barely three. make it once a week and it's pre recorded. I know. And you're live and it's three so times a week. Hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Please, it's my news else. background. You know, you've got deadlines, you've got backstories you got to get. Yep. You got, you know, it's just, um, I, it, like anything else, right? You know, it's the, it's the, what is it? The outliers, 10,000 hours and you got it down. So dude, right. Malcolm so, but, Gladwell right there. There you go. <sighs> but I was watching this morning with somebody with, or this afternoon with somebody with uh, Disney mm -hmm. uh, Lee um, and kitchen. And um, yesterday was someone else. And it was just Saudi incredible. Arabia yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Saudi Arabia. Uh, yeah. Dubai, yeah, yeah. That's right. right. Al, I got to say real quick. I love the political quote that said, approach policies coldly and people warmly oh, oh that was man. so cool yeah, yeah. absolutely man. policies yeah. coldly so. and people yeah. warmly but man. people yeah. warmly i love yeah. that yeah. quote that's i forget true. the name of the um interviewer you had on but i love that was that michael quote. andrew yeah. yeah yeah there we go okay yeah. Dubai. Yeah. Yep. yeah yeah actually he was in Riyadh. Riyadh, uh Riyadh, saudi, saudi arabia he did live oh. in dubai Oh, okay. And um, yeah, in fact, he was in Abu Dhabi at the same time my daughter was, and now Tanya is in uh, wow. is in Dubai. So yeah, wow, yep, sweet, yep. yeah, Tanya's there. Now yeah. she did just say in the comments she's back in the states. Oh, did she oh. really? Okay, she's back in Florida right now. But okay. She's in Florida right now. But did you see our? Did you see the song we did together? I Tanya did. And I? I did, and Ryan, and Ryan played guitar too. Yeah, well, sweet. you know, you guys so are cool. just, you know, you're musicians. You're so trying to keep up. <laughs> It's it was incredible. so fun. Oh yeah. my gosh. Al, thank you so much for your sharing your wisdom with us tonight. Absolutely. I appreciate it. And uh, where can people get a hold of you? Uh, everything is Al Gettler at Al Gettler. It's uh, Facebook, it's Instagram, it's uh, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube. Everything's just my name because it's going to be a unique name. Un Al unique name. So G -G Al Gettler. There it is. There it is. And the, guy, the producer is on the spot. On the you spot. are a rock star. Man, that yes, guy should are, get a sir. raise. Come on. I'm telling totally. you. Get him Crazy. a phone book so we can say, what's a phone book? Anyway, uh, yeah, but you know. <laughs> well, All listen, right, I feel like I'm getting a boot. So um, I just want to Tell say. Bernie uh, we said hi. Bernie. Uh, thanks for having me here today. Uh, it was boring and uh, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I seemingly have other plans. So, honestly, didn't that look like he, he he showed up there by mistake yesterday? Oh my gosh, yes, he was so oh he didn't want to be there. So, he was so he cold so and uncomfortable. No, he's always that way. He's and he's so alone. He was just sitting alone, no, you, all you, chilling in his little mask and gloves. I have met Bernie on the street in Burlington, Vermont, and it's <laughs> really? have you back, really? Oh yeah, well, I mean, you know, we're a small state. And I go, okay. oh, yeah, hey, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. No, oh, it's, man. Uh, it, it's great. You're yeah. awesome. Hi, Donald. Hey. Love that, Donald. He's a good man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donald well, is, is so great. Everybody's saying uh, they love you, and uh, we want to have you back another time as well uh, because you can, you can target in. Al's like an encyclopedia of business. He really is. Seriously, he interviews 
uh, three times a week, different authors of business books. And he knows all of this stuff. If I mention somebody's name, boom, he would he'd know their three points, their top three points. So this is great. We want to uh, well, have Zach, you back right now. Yeah. Yeah. Zach is an ex newspaper guy. Yeah, Zach, so where did you work? There's some shared love between you guys. I'd like to know where Zach worked. You know, Steve, you give me a second here. I'm on my roller chair. I think I can get it fast. This is the book I would recommend everybody to get this week. Hold on. Well, if it is a roller chair, right. you'll you'll be able to get it because right. you're all right, Al. Up, boom, Roll right. away. over forty. I can right now, this is going to be the best sixteen ninety five. Oh, no, business made so Donald Miller. Miller. Yeah, I love that yeah. guy. I'm telling you right oh, now, in 60 gosh, days, you'll have a business degree from Donald Miller. Yeah, yeah. it's true. It's true. Yeah. Go buy that so book. Ryan, help you run any business. So Ryan and I are totally into him. And Ryan is doing, revising our website. Axtell.com is being totally revised. Yep. It's going to be, yep. uh, as you said the other day, Al. I'm working on it. As you Visual sit back hierarchy. Up, there it is, business made sick. Well, Mark, I loved, I have loved Donald Miller since Blue Like Jazz, Bearded mm -hmm. Dragon, a lot of his early books. Yeah, yep. but he has really transitioned into yep. just really making space in the business realm of like, oh, what huge. is your story? You know, every business story has a brand. story. How do you focus on it? And even your guest the other day, Al, with visual hierarchy. Yep. Yep. And looking at websites we and stuff, yep. Yep. and that's yep. a lot of stuff we're working on putting into practice right now. Hopefully, yeah. it goes live very soon. But right. man, it's it's amazing January stuff. 1st, so I encourage as I understand, everyone. Ryan. January first, uh, according to people that don't oversee the servers that we host <laughs> yeah. on. <laughs> So okay, maybe not see. January 1st, maybe February 1st. <laughs> I think that could be doable. <laughs> Anyways, right. lots of love for Al out there. Algetler.com, yeah. at Algetler on social oh, media. Oh, my gosh, yes. Check him out. He's, yeah. You're not going to be disappointed. He's not just a bunch of hot air. Well, you might like, be disappointed. Yeah, he is. No, no, no. I'm, listen, that ring, I'm Irish. It's all hot air. All hot air. Oh, Every oh, bit of it is hot air. An Irish firefighter, does it get any better than that, right? No. You know? Uh, all right. Guys, I you, I, thank you. So, <laughs> so good to be here with you. Uh, I send you the internet. Oh, wait a minute. Let me. This is this is total Vermont. Watch this. Oh, drinking so out much of a tea mason jar. from a mason jar. Oh, Come on, my gosh. Man, that's You're such a millennial. Mason jar with my mitten. Yeah, doesn't Look get more of a than that. Come Dude. on, man. All right. Hey, thank you, Al. Appreciate Absolutely, it. Absolutely, guys. My pleasure. Take care. Take All care, right. buddy. All right. All right, Steve. So the question on the table is, are we doing an auction tonight? Is there a question now, on the table? Well, we don't have to do one. Here's the deal. We, we don't we're running to long it. tonight. Al was no, really long-winded. He was we're one of the more long-winded guests that we've ever had. Calm down. I didn't really realize how long Al was going to talk. It just went on and on and on. Hey, Steve, show me that extreme close-up you're always jonesing for. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh Oh, hold on, hold on. I got, I got out real quick. Hold on. Listen, long winded. I, I mean, seriously. <laughs> what? You just like you went walked on all over tonight. my back. I mean, what I the was, heck, man? I was just about to leave, and I'm yeah. hearing this diatribe about my long windedness, and <laughs> I mean, et tu brute? You know, I mean, come on. <laughs> Listen, this so, is an amazing so show. <laughs> We're never going to see another show like this You're again. Sure. Okay. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Say, it was so long. Trump's the first president since 1869 long. to attend the uh, inauguration. Just saying. Yeah. Back to you. Oh, All right. I'm out of here. I'm sorry. I'm going right, to literally Al. leave the studio now. <laughs> oh, Peace I didn't know. You, you were Peace great out. tonight, Al. All Thank right, you for going you, short. It was wonderful. All right, Steve. So, hey, Ryan, is he real, gone? Though, is he gone? gone for real. I'm not oh bringing gosh. him back. God, I am so not long. I can't believe how long it went. Um, okay, so here's the deal. Yep. <laughs> Everyone's talking about like what's going on with the show. It's almost two hours. We always run about two hours. Hold your watch. I don't think we need an auction tonight. Well, it's too long. That was my it's question. Been too long. Yeah, it's been okay, too long. so Steve, we have a video hmm. uh, showing some of the stuff that's in the works at the shop. But my question for you is, after we show that, are we going to an auction or are we pushing people to the following week, our CACs show? 
for new products uh, we and have action. You tell an me. Incredible auction next week. So what do you mean by we're going to be showing them what's in the works? We haven't done that well, yet. Well, we have, have an we? in the works video. Did we because skip Because we that? skipped over it earlier. Mm. Yeah. But I because got Because right Al here. wanted to get on earlier. He he Al so said cut he's so pretentious. For me. He said, I want to be on <laughs> early. <laughs> hey, Al's on Al's on uh, Vermont time. I yeah. mean, Vermont rules the world. He's say. you know what he's doing right now? He's what? he's putting the pizza in the oven. He's totally eating right now. Wait, hold on. Gina. Yeah. Uh Gina said, hold on. Okay. Nancy I'm, said frog song, which Nancy, I'm I'm with yeah. you on that. Um yeah. Yeah. Hold on, we got we we're, got some. we're going out with that for sure. Do we want to have an auction Michael, tonight? We got Michael Spy saying, "What's in the know. box? Where's the auction?" We Do got we Nancy want an auction? Saying, I need song. to know. I need to we know from Gina the insiders if we, we need an Gina auction saying, tonight Hold or off on not. The auction, spending all my money on Disney. Okay. We may okay. be prepared for an auction now, Jaren. Hold off. I don't know if it's a dinky bear. It doesn't sound I like can't... a real Axtell insider to say hold off. Hold off on the auction. Oh, then you speak to Jeremy's dinky bear question. Back to you, Steve. Okay. Uh, <laughs> folding your arms across your chest, <laughs> far away from the mic. <laughs> far away. <laughs> uh, we no, do though. A, a bear. A bear is is definitely one of the main kind of characters that we would oh, it's probably one of the top be doing. mammals you're looking at. It's mm. one of the top mammals the Axtell scientists are researching. The dinky researchers. Back to you, Steve. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Do you guys want it an auction tonight or not? That's Let the question. The no auction today. No money. Okay, so, so I've heard two people say oh. no. Okay. All right. Well, so here's the deal. We'll we already have is, an auction planned. Yeah. There's going to be a huge week. auction during because next uh, week. Is, is the it next PAX week? Live is it show. next yep. week? Let me February. Check. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. Two weeks from nope. now. Nope. My two bad. Weeks. Two yep. weeks from yep. now. Hold on. I have I have Aaron Sherman, a power user. Okay. Yep. 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 All the way from yep. Connecticut, saying he I needs... can use a dinky elephant. <laughs> See. He could. Yeah. He could. I'm just okay, saying. Okay, so right now, I mean, we've only got a few more dinkies to go. So give me your wishes in the comments right now. So we have a dinky. Great point. We have a dinky, dinky elephant. Dinky lion, dinky bear. Oh, I'm sorry. And we dinky already elephant, have a lion, bear. a bear, and an elephant. What else? What else do you guys want? Let I know there's know. a. We have four there's a more rapper. That we are looking to create in this. A rapier out there. Is that what it was? A rapier. Right from Reanimation. Oh, you mean a type of uh, historical sword that's used for dueling? <laughs> a rapier? <laughs> what was that animal that was? Uh... Oh, what's this? A dinky corn, dinky unicorn from Harry Stedman. Dinky that's a good corn. idea. We've had uh, a couple dinky requests. Dinky unicorn. For a yeah, there have been lots of those. Dinky yep. unicorn. We got another a request for a, an elephant. For no, Alabama it's... national football champs. Now I can say this, Diana. Oh, come on. Even though I need I at least I need a hundred people to buy each one of these, so it has to college, be like we very are a very solid. non-sports fan. Steve doesn't know what football is. Platypus koala. Football? It depends. It's a soccer. Is it in England? If it's mm, in England, it's soccer. Nice, Steve. Or if it's in, in the most of the world, not the United just States, England, Steve. Mm -hmm. If it's in the United States, it would be a pointed ball on both ends. Hey, a proud of you right there. Trapoid. No, it's not a trapezoid, but thank you a for trapoid. trying. I didn't say trapezoid. Trapoid. Okay. Now, I got Jeremy Wheat coming in hot, saying I'm not bidding unless there's a dinky bear. I'm on strike until then. Oh, well, oh my gosh. Dinky Jeremy, dog. There's a dog coming. Oh my gosh! There's a dino coming and Angela yeah, Dragon coming. I got another coming. comment. Look Michael at all these. Spies, Look at these. who's a power. He's oh an amazing. Oh my gosh! This is incredible. It's incredible. In the outback, saying unicorn yep. to be a seller. Steve, a oh couple votes gosh. for unicorn. I hear now, that. I got Zach Wentz saying right now. I'll send you money for a unicorn money. today. I got your money. Do, do. I, I got, got Amanda Stump saying Dutch Angel Dragon. Now, Steve. 
I, what, I can't now hold answer. It. Can you, Ryan, can you explain a Dutch angel dragon? I that's up I to understand you, Steve, the last word, but... which is dragon. Dutch angel dragon? Ryan, go for it. Now, Lauren Larson right here saying. No, 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 no. Go for it, Ryan. Ryan, with your. Now, you have I your can, you have your iPhone can, hanging out of your ear right there. You're looking so <laughs> cool. You can tell me what a Dutch. <laughs> I would love to show everyone what is angel in the works here. Dragon is at Axel Expressions. Ryan filmed on an iPhone. Back to you. Thank Ryan. you very much. Um, shark. Hold on, Aaron Sherman. Dinky saying there's be shark. Dinky shark. Not a bad idea. Oh, Steve, you thought that you're you're the only one that can go close to the camera? Whoa, that's huge. That's huge. I got nothing. Okay. Uh, oh, I that's can't good. touch that. No, you can't good. touch that. No, no, um, you Steve... touched it and smeared it. <laughs> hey, I do have. Um, I have an update from the shop this week. Okay. Let's see what it is. I love this show, everyone, because you've been working on the Biden puppet, our president now, here in the States. And uh, yeah. I think we got some some cool stuff. So let me uh, walk us through here. Okay, good. Nothing to do I'm with gonna Biden, leave us. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. us in the video for commentary. Nice. Okay? Yep. All right. Okay. Let's see what oh, we got. look at that. He clicked play. Very good, Ryan. I've been known to do that. <laughs> So we got some hey, jinkies ready. Jinky monkeys. A little dinky monkeys. Oh, diva. Now this is a diva with a new neck design. Yeah, it's man. a fabric this neck. A That's the only way we're making them now. Not yep. latex anymore. More flexible. That's right. Now this is a big baby. This is a yellow, kind of a neutral color. We also do uh, blue and plink, uh, pink. Plink. Yep. Here's an Edna. Now this is Edna. With a wig on. I just thought it was kind of cool looking. Yeah. She's not painted yet, but the wig is in now place. this is Sandra, who's Look crushing, painting. She's painting some diva feet. Edna, diva hands. And feet. And feet. And a turkey. And these are a bunch of products we have set for a company in Seattle called, oh, whoops, my headphones again. Sorry, okay. Steve, hold on. For incredible years, incredible uh, this is years. a company in Seattle that we were. We're going to be interviewing them one of these days. Yep, and we have uh, some of their Mollies and Wallies, plus a big book, a rat puppet. Look at that! Incredible, lots of dinos. And some dinkies, yeah, dinos and dinkies. Some of the molds we had going on. Tons of puppets. Look at now, this. Now this is an animatronic. Uh, toucan. Yep. I'm using this is the, the skeleton fob to control it. You are. Look at that. I am. Look I at your thumb. That's your thumb right the there. Head left and right. Using Amazing. a key Don't fob. touch the face. Don't touch the face. Don't touch the face. Look at that. You're pushing the buttons and making the mouth move. Here is uh, magic. Uh, magic two system toucans. Look at this. Hi folks. Welcome to the show. Today we're <laughs> I love these guys. Hi, folks, and hello. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, so cool. Oh, oh, I was just thinking something, something the very, very silly. I was, I was thinking. Would you be quiet? Oh, oh, sorry. These are two of our magic two <laughs> two cans. Yeah. Okay. It's this our multi-character system. Today up. we are oh. going. What are you doing? I'm introducing the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't the real show. <laughs> sure it is. This is our toucan show. <laughs> well, yeah, but this isn't the big show. <laughs> he thinks he's a star. <laughs> I am a star. Oh, yeah, but you're a little star. <laughs> okay. Not a big star. Not a big star. Of all the silly things. You're a little star of a little show. <laughs> this isn't the big show. Well, no, this isn't the big show. But this is what we in showbiz call the pre-show. Uh, excuse me. What now? 
What kind of a pre-show is this going to be? Look at the character development between the two me? characters. Could you stop interrupting me? Pretty cool, man. Stop it now! Very different characters. Stop it now! <laughs> You'll have to excuse my friend. He's a bit off balance, as you may have guessed. Your pre-show is dying. Let me tell a joke. <laughs> but you're not funny. <laughs> and you are? No. Uh, go ahead. So these are two animatronic characters that can interact with one each joke. other. It's part of our Magic yes. 2 system. Okay, Look at this. well, uh, if I can only tell one joke, uh, I will tell a different joke. Little tip to the it office there. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, oh, I got a good one. <laughs> it's really different. A good one? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's good. It's a knock-knock joke. A knock-knock joke? Are you serious? Really? Well, yeah, but a this knock -knock? one is different. All right. How is it different? Well, you start. I start? Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, uh. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, that was funny. I'm like, knock, knock, and you're like, uh. <laughs> Hey, let's sing that song I wrote. No, it's dumb. Two can, two can. Come on, I want you to do it with me. No, it's stupid, and I'm not going to sing it. Oh, come on. One time. Two can, no, two I'm can, not. two can, two can. <laughs> two can's better than two one can, two can, two can. Two two can. So this is an two example of one some one of our magic two two systems ridiculous. that no, can stop. work together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you don't sing very well. Hey, is it time for the real show now? Yes, thank goodness. It's time for the real show. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great hey, honor. What about me? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives us great honor to introduce the headliner for tonight's show. So that's an example of yep. our... Um, two system two cans and that magic. is using our magic two system um, that's available for uh purchase and you know we had aaron sherman mention you know we he uh with the new neck i probably would not have needed my diva pearly mounted to the top so here's the thing we actually love the latex neck we love the look of it mm. and actually that doesn't affect the easy talk the easy talk has to do with no. the mouth shape so right. Um, because of the mouth shape, we opt for the latex neck because we love the look. When it comes to the puppet, um, we like, uh, even though we like the latex look, we opt for the fabric and foam neck for movability yep. because the latex neck works for the Easy Talk because of the mouth design, which is really what determines how the Easy Talk works. And it's just moving off the right. But we love the latex neck look, except for a hand puppet. We found that the um, foam and fabric neck is a little bit easier to use but on the mm -hmm. easy talk since both work we like using the latex neck so just want to answer that question from aaron who is an incredible user coming mm -hmm. to us from connecticut he's got an amazing connection not connection collection of puppets uh he has a rabbi he has a canter he's got a dinky talk he's got a dinky collection a, man amazing connection as well that's true. Think about it. He might have a connection and a collection. That's true. He has He's a connection both. to a collection. And Michael Spice saying, how many puppets can get into an argument with the Magic 2? Well, here's the deal, Michael. Um, and actually, we're working on a project for Michael right now that uses a whole new system of no, show control true. that can allow yeah, that's true. a lot of characters to interact. A lot of the characters. Magic 2 system relies on audio routing, which you can use an interface. So as many audio outputs as you can have can control um, characters. But Michael's using, we're working on a new system with him that uses DMX that has just a huge it's different uh, yep. range of characters that can uh, be used and yep. activated within that framework. So we're really excited to finish um, kind of working on that with a lot, Michael. A lot of is, cool stuff. Oh my gosh, a lot of cool stuff yeah. in the works. Michael Spies, your your project is going to be showcased here in upcoming uh, so episodes good. if if you want it to. Um, some of the so many of the things that we're working on are top secret. 
and we can't reveal them. We have a lot of things going on behind the scenes that are, you know, confidential because people are now, Steve, I have a question from Sheila and Sheila has been diving yeah. into some green screen with some of our characters. She has a platypus. Oh, you mean style? Okay. <laughs> Recently learned that we've been mispronouncing it for a long time. Okay. Uh, yes. And Adam, you're right. I dropped, I dropped my headphones. But Sheila was saying, what about yep. Fern the Bird? Is that a foam or cloth neck? I believe that's a cloth neck, right? It's a cloth neck, yeah. It's a tube of um, uh, like lycra fabric. Yep. Works great for hand puppets and um, also our animatronic, our Easy Talk, our Magic yep. 2 system. Yeah. So anyways, that is that. Well, Steve, it has been a show. No, it's been a show and a half. Oh my gosh, this has been incredible. That's true. Uh, do you have the uh, frog video queued up? Oh man. If you do, I, I want to say something before you play it. So say it. Okay, here I go. Here I go. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, folks. Ryan and I are <laughs> the creative directors of Axel Expressions. And we do consulting, we do songs, we do routines. And we can help you improve your act. We can help you make songs because we make innovations to help you entertain the world. We can make you new characters. We can do it all. And we're here for you. We love you. We want to be part of your future in entertainment. That is and true. We are going to go out tonight with the frog song, This Life's For Me. Let's take See a you, look, folks. Steve. See you next week. Oh, we've got some great stuff next week. Welcome to the pond. Here's my story. When I was a little bitty tadpole, all I had was a big old tail. Then it shrunk and I grew some legs and I went hopping on down the trail. The sun went down and I heard some noise, lots of croaking and hollering. It was a big old party with lots of frogs and I heard one say, hey, jump on in. Because we're swamp critters, pond buddies, swimming with the mud puppies, splashing all around in the weeds. We're sunning on a lily pad, playing with the crawdads, hopping on the banks of the creek. This life's for me. Grandpa was a big old bullfrog, taught us to know right from wrong. How to catch a fly and jump real high, to croak real loud and sing this song. Rip it, rip it, rip it. Because we're swamp critters, pond buddies, swimming with the mud puppies, splashing all around in the weeds. We're sunning on a lily pad, playing with the Crawdads hopping on the banks of the creek. This lies for me. Frog on a log, frog on a log. Nothing is cool as a frog on a log. Frog on a log, frog on a log. Nothing is cool as a frog on a log. Because we're swamp critters, pond buddies, swimming with the mud puppies, splashing all around in the weeds. Sunning on a lily pad, playing with the crawdads, hopping on the banks of the creek. This life's for me.